I love starting episodes by getting to say that before we start. Hello! Welcome to oh. High Rollers Dungeons and Dragons. Everyone is in a really weird oh, mood today. Oh no! Uh, welcome! I'm your Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Humes. Uh, joining me on this adventure we have Rhiannon. Hello! Chris Trot. Hello. Kim. Hi. Look how happy she is. <laughs> Hello, this side. Tom Hazel. And then Katie. Look how bliss, blissful <laughs> everyone is. Look how happy. Hello, friends. <laughs> Welcome to our little Dungeons and Dragons adventure. <sighs> Thanks for joining us. Uh, a couple of quick things before we get started on today's lovely episode. Uh, first things first, <laughs> big thank you to our sponsors. Yeah. Starting off with DD Beyond. <laughs> this one. Thanks, DD Beyond. Uh, they're the official DD digital tool set. It's got, a it's got a compendium, it's got campaign management, character builder. They've got more things in the works, like an encounter builder as well. There's a character on there with 4 HP right now. There's a character on there with 4 HP. Yeah, they've who knew? They've just updated, no a, one. they've changed their layout. Um, also, yeah, it's, been, it's been tweeted, they are working on the new Unearthed Arcana Artificer, so it should be on D&D Beyond very soon. Yeah. We love D&D Beyond, we've been using yeah, it man. since we started Eros. It's a great tool. It's they've great. been a wonderful sponsor. <laughs> Lovely bunch of people. Check out their Discord as well. Um, go check that out. But then the next sponsor just recently joined us. It's the lovely Displate. Which plate? Displate. 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 That plate. Katie, that plate. do you want to tell them about discounts and sales? Displate. So from right now, we have an exciting sale with Displate. So instead of using our other code, we want you to use the code HIGHROLLERS25 and you'll get 25% off. Ooh, of hot damn. Damn. Yeah, that is valid from right now until Tuesday at midnight EST. So... Uh and if you go to the link that should be in chat, in chat, it goes to our collection, which is all ones that we've chosen ourselves. So you can see the ones that we've picked. Yes. I chose that. Is, is it's one of Kim's? Kim's yeah. Kim's pick. So you'll it's a Char Lizard. Situation. No, Steve. What? Yes, it is. Plugged it is in. plugged in. Yep. So something's wrong with my microphone. That's fine, though. Um, so if you didn't hear that, High Rollers 25 on display. 25% off until Tuesday. Tuesday midnight. That's Kim's pick. I'm trying to remember everything. Char Lizard, Kim's. Yeah. There we go. It's a big old Charizard. All right. We're going to get that fixed out. Oop, I'm going to clip that right on. But if you, just to be clear, just because we want it to be clear, this plate, they're awesome. Metal plates. Never, what did you come up with, Rihanna? Never need never a frame again. Never buy a frame again. Never yeah. buy a frame again. They're metal uh, metallic <laughs> plates that you can attach to your wall via magnets. I put um, mine up. It's really easy. Really it's crazy. easy. They're yeah. beautiful designs. If he put it up, we've you can too. Uh, we've all picked our own plates. Uh, if you go to the link as mentioned in chat, hopefully uh, you can go there. High rollers twenty five, get twenty five percent off. That offer ends Tuesday midnight. Two days only. Yeah. Not now. Or in Ooh. the description if you're on YouTube, it'll be in the there description. There you go. And on the podcast and stuff as well. Uh, so thank you very much. Next thing to talk about while Steve sorts out a microphone, uh, TwitchCon Europe. We're going to hundred percent be going to TwitchCon Europe. Spread the word. Um, we'll be doing a live show at TwitchCon Europe on Saturday the 13th of April. It's at 3 till 4.30 p.m. I believe it's going to be on the main stage. Whoa. So if you want to come and check that out, we're going to be Whoa. there. That's terrible. Uh, we'll also be around the show so you can say hi, do all of that good stuff. Um, it's gonna, we're really excited to go. Big thank you to Twitch for, for taking us out there for that. Um, we're also aiming to have it, it will be recorded and broadcast, and we're planning on having it rebroadcast on Yogg's cast the following day. So if you can't make it to TwitchCon, you'll still get to see it, but you should come to TwitchCon. Come and see us, come see it live. Do it. Come meet loads of cool streamers. Um, Do it. Also, me and Kim will be doing a little extra special something, which I don't think we can talk about yet, but it's gonna be cool. Yeah. Uh, so come check that out. Hey Steve, what do you think about that? Great. <laughs> yeah, hey. Steve. Um, then the last he thing just to mention it. on that, <laughs> uh, I mentioned a little while ago we might be at PAX East. That's been confirmed that we are no longer gonna be at PAX East. These things happen, unfortunately. The company that we were talking to about it, just it was gonna be too last minute to get us out there and stuff. Um, but we do hope to go one year and we are gonna try and look at doing some more US conventions at some point if we can. Yeah. Uh, so check that out, but sorry about that, folks. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, let's just do a little test. Hello? Can you hear me? Is he back in the studio? Papa, the can you thing. hear me? There we go. Well, I will do a recap. No, no you do won't. the video first. Well, let's do well. Should we make sure the mic's working? First? Let's make sure the mic is working. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, 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 hi. Uh, let's have a quick sip. It says you're very quiet. Steve can hopefully boost that, but it might be because it's not working. We're Therefore, picking up on other mics. Picking up yeah. on all of our other mics, which will be fun. Well, is everyone ready? Yeah, everyone really excited? No. Rhiannon's very excited. I, I'm scared. Yeah. I haven't thought of a second character yet, but I probably should. Yeah. yeah. 
I mean, my it's second always useful to character have. is going to be Ayla's twin sister. <laughs> Bela. Bela. I am Bela. Uh, uh, Will's twin Steve. brother. On the mic, Bill. Steve, Steve. It Yay! works. There we go. It works. Well, with that, Enjoy. let's play, play the D &D. intro video. Woo! Now. It. Welcome back nice. to Erois. Yeah. A brief recap yeah. on what happened last time. Last yeah. time. As dark clouds gather over Kaylee's Rest, our adventurers have been tasked with infiltrating the Bright Flame Abbey and finding proof of the Ashbringer cult's activity and influence, as well as rescuing the faith leaders for the goddesses Siaska and Kelara. Mm -hmm. Before departing for the Abbey, Valor. The teenage girl the party have been accompanying and encouraging approached them, <coughs> upset she's being left out of their adventures and feeling abandoned. Vala's skills in subterfuge convinced some of the party that she should help them in the infiltration mission, and eagerly she accompanied them. Climbing over the abbey's walls at night, the party have snuck through the grounds <laughs> and found that the cultists have made themselves ready with arms and armor and keeping patrols. Attempting to sneak in, and disabled scouts watching from the grounds of the bell tower, the party failed to remain undetected. The bell was rung, alerting the abbey to their presence. Oh. Dispatching the scouts and using the bells themselves to kill a number of the guards, the party jumped across to the roof of the church and climbed down into the abbey's main building itself, where they once again became embroiled into battle. Mm -hmm. Vala was made invisible by Nova and then sent off to find two keys needed to unlock the secret passage beneath the altar. But we begin in combat, as we ended the last oh, session, yeah. mid-combat. Um, and I believe that we jump up straight into a new turn. Uh, I need a pen or a pencil, I just realized. Does anyone have a spare? I don't For even once, have one myself. I have failed. Here. Thank you. Uh, well, I'm not going to make that promise. And at the top of the round is Ayla. You oh, see, no. uh, so we have a map this time. So you guys are currently up on a second floor, like a balcony floor looking down onto the church's main uh, He's little dead, corridor. Mate, He's dead. <laughs> it counts. Nope. It counts as a dead. Doesn't count. Um, there is a small kind of barrier uh, that I wasn't able to replicate on the, the dungeon, on the Dwarven Forge. But there's a small barrier. It's like a couple of feet high, so you can easily jump over it if you wanted to. It's about mm. a 15 foot, or like I'd say, yeah, 10 to 15 foot drop down onto the main uh, abbey floor itself. So not really harmful. Um, a little bit, but not too much. Okay. Uh, there is one Ashbringer cultist that Ayla is currently engaged with, Ayla and Century are engaged with. There is another one on the other side that has been shooting ranged spells at you, Lucius shot Nightfrost at. You can hear the sounds of people uh, in armor coming up the stairs and one of them has reached the top of the stairs. And then down next to the altar on the main floor, there is a rogued clerical figure who has just healed some of his allies. Oh yeah. Um, and we I begin think, with Ayla. Um, I think the guy right across there. the way, I um, uh, guiding bolt with him nice. as well, so everyone's got advantage against him. I, the, the, next, the next attack. Yeah. I yeah, yeah. But the I, next attack against him has advantage. Just making sure. And that uh, that Nova frostbited uh, this one next to Ayla which means he has disadvantage on his next, next weapon attack. Yes. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ayla, we Don't begin kill. with you. We kick off in this combat. You are next to one of these guys by the wall. I guess I'm just gonna hit him. Mm -hmm. I suppose. How hard? A good, a good whack. A good oh, whack, Hazel. a good whacking. Oh no, I'm not, because I rolled a shitty roll. What did you roll? A three. Hmm. Nine. Doesn't hit. Nine. Oh. No, sadly but not. Can he make a dexterity saving throw? He can absolutely make a dexterity saving throw. Yeah. For a 11. Fail. Two points of lightning damage. 
two points of lightning damage, and that Time is back. two. Uh, you said that is to A. So two points, did you say? Yes. Okay. Can so I... you blast him with a little bit of lightning. You swing the hammer. He dodges underneath it, but is blasted by this kind of crackling aura of electricity around you. Um, so you said that there's a barrier, like two feet. Mm -hmm. Can I just duck to try and get? Line of it's it, what it's kind of not like a full barrier. It's kind of got like oh. arches, like it's kind of like a church where you see like those little stone arches. It's it's enough to stop people from like okay. just falling off the side, but it doesn't <laughs> provide any cover really. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, Damn. Can I skirt around him? Then? As long as you don't move more than five uh, five feet away from him, yes. Can I skirt to? Yes. Here? Yeah. Cool. Do that without provoking an opportunity attack. Okay. So that's your movement done. That's all of your turn done, Lucius. Um. Are we bonus actioning drinking your own potions? Yes. I'm yeah. going to drink a greater healing potion. A greater Yay! healing potion? Wow. It's the only one I've got. So okay. I'm gonna use 44 it. plus 4. Yes, please. Uh, oh, that was not great. Oh, no. How much health did you oh, have? Oh, that was good. It was like good and bad. So it's 10, 14 hit points. Oh, bam. I rolled two ones and then two fours. So that puts you to 18. 18, 18. which is near his max. Nice. Uh, so, bonus action, is, I think his max is 25. Gonna uh, turn around. Okay. Yep. Birdie, there's people coming up the stairsies! <laughs> I don't say that. There's people coming up the stairs! I'm gonna throw a uh, Snillock Snowball Swarm <laughs> at me. Sure. <laughs> at them. Okay. Hopefully it hits back yeah. here. So you wanna kind of target it behind the first guy who's reached the top of the stairs. He's pulling out, Try and uh, hit them all. I believe, a flail. Um, yeah, sure. Snillock Snowball Swarm is being cast. Okay. Give me the effects. Tell me what happens. Uh, each creature in a five-foot radius yep. sphere centered on that point makes a deck saving throw. And magic snowballs erupt from a point I choose. So There's right in the middle. It's a five-foot sphere, right? Uh, five-foot radius sphere. So that'd be five-foot basically. Around. Around, around. Yeah, okay. So that will catch. It, will, it won't catch the one who's at the very bottom of the stairs, which is the last guy, but it will catch two of them. Okay. So what, Dexterity, dexterity saving, saving throws? throws, please. First one, these are the militants. Oh, they have plus one. 16 and six. Okay, one fails, one succeeds. Okay. So it's 3d6 halved for the succeeder. Okay. <laughs> so we'll have A at the um, top, he'll fail. Eight. So and eight four. total. Eight and four. Okay, so he's gonna take four, that one will take eight. So you hear this kind of flurry of ice and snow erupt and you begin to see the stone pavements being uh, frost creeps their way along the stair thing, uh, the stairs and stones um, as this spell conjures up. And it's then like a flurry of snowballs. Uh, Dichromancy would be my charisma plus. What level spell was it? Uh, two. So two, so charisma Five. plus two. Five. Classic and who do you want to do your dichromancy? The closest guy. The closest guy. Uh, so five total to him. So you watch as, as this uh, swarm of snowballs pelts these guards. Christmas three, but to levels two. Level two, so it's five, five, yeah. And then with the you, you catch a glimpse of blue on your outfit, and from this color you pull out a, a strand of ice magic that you throw forward into like a blast of uh, icicles. It embeds into the guy's shield, pierces some of his armor, Ooh. and he staggers back, injured, but still, still standing. Um, that's your action. Would you, uh, bonus action, would you like to move? Uh, just a little bit. Back here, just one space. Okay. Towards the brief access. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Bang. So uh, the men around the stairs, the men and women around the stairs, uh, now pour forth. Um, oh, they go before me. They do. And they all have enough movement now to basically reach the end. Although this one will go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Can I use my reaction to squawk? You can, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's your reaction um, gone. No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so as you see these three militants, uh, they rush up in a kind of uniformed pattern and they all begin chanting together as one. Um, oh. And as they do, these flails, these kind of like censure flails burst into flame. Uh, so Quill, you're going to get one attack against you. Uh, Sentry, you're going to get two attacks against you. Am I? So Quill, uh, 13 to hit. Doesn't. Okay, Sentry. First one is a 22. That hits. Second one is a 11. It doesn't hit. Okay, so the 22 hits Sentry. Mm -hmm. um, so you're going to take uh, six bludgeoning and yikes, 10 fire. Oh, goodness. So 16. 16. Oh, shit. As this flaming censure 
so bad. Slams into your back as you're trying to fend off one. Um, it explodes into, into flames, effectively, uh, around you. Um, and they begin calling, like, they just continue this chanting, like, by the sun, this kind of low droning chant. Like Gregorian. And that's making their and century, it's flames. Very flamey. Flame it flame. seems to be that when they're cl in close proximity to each other. Mm. Oh. There's something okay. I want to ask you after the session about sure. your inspirations. Okay. Sentry. Well, um, I'd like to move between oh, I the... Um, I thought you meant yeah, just move, you just move yourself as long as you, you stay have, within your movement. He's dead again. <laughs> Keep pushing people off the I'm map. like, no, Monty Python. So I think if you off. move, if you yeah, move yeah, you there, one of them is going to get an attack. Of, uh, in fact, two of them will get a tax opportunity against you. Okay. Because you're moving out of their threat reach. Right. So you could move here. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then you'd still be within. Okay. And then you'd be within five feet of Quill still. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Yep. Yep. And then okay. I'd like to lay a smack people. down on this dude. Just. Uh, which one? Uh, the cloak dude. This guy? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. yep, the warlock. Yeah, just give him a smack of Rooney. Okay, sure. Tech roll. The warlock with 17. Ooh. 17 to hit. Yeah, hits. Awesome. And then I'll just do a d8 plus 4. You're attacking kneecaps. That's uh... Yeah. Now, do you roll a d4 and minus that from your damage? Because you're currently tiny sentry. Oh, that's very true. Oh. How so, long does she have on that? Like, uh... I mean, it was an hour, hour long. Actually? It's not been that long. It's been like... No. I think you said it was like, half, it was an like half an hour. It's been like half an hour, yeah. So you got a long cool. time, it's tiny century. So half an hour like seven in total, tower. so what do you need to minus it's off that one? Uh, D4, you roll a D4, roll a D4. Yeah, you take that, D4. that's a D8, that, was, oh. that, that one's a D4. Oh, that one, yeah. So seven, oh. minus, minus one, six. Minus one, six. Okay, uh, do you want to Divine Smite or anything, or are you just going to do no, straight damage? No, I'm going to leave it for now. Okay, and that was to the guy in the to cloak? To the cloak guy, yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, he's uh, definitely looking damaged at this point. He's had multiple blows from Ayla, from, I think, uh, Nova, from you. Um, he's been wounded in diverse ways and he's kind of staggering like, ah, as he's turning around. Um, desperate to kind of get some purchase. Everything done? Any bonus actions or anything? I'm good to go. Quill. Uh, with my passive perception of 20, can I see how injured everyone is? Yeah. How injured is everyone? I'm fine. I'm fine. 14. I might have, but in the grand scheme of things, I'm fine. I think these two are basically now at half. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but your half, your half is my full. I know. <laughs> That's why I said in the um, grand scheme of things, we okay. could. In that case, I am going to cast Bane. Bane. Sure. Bane. Bane. Uh, <laughs> I was expecting a heal. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> don't super need it just yet. I'm How much is everybody? Bane. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so. he's made a calculated thing. Like a doctor, he's gone, none of you are in, need to, are in trauma. Bang! <laughs> it, was, it should stop them from I'm a healer, this. but... Okay. You're not casting it on sentry, is what you're saying? I'm not casting it on sentry. No, I'm well, casting no, you choose three creatures. on the three flamey flail boys. Sure, yeah, absolutely. Okay, flail what kind of saving throw? Uh, and what does Rizma. the spell look like? Uh, what does the spell look like? I feel like it is just images of, like... Fluttering in their in their eyes, so it okay, like messes like up their vision stuff. when. They're... What's your spell save DC? My spell save, I believe that's a bardic one, so twelve. Oh, interesting. Uh, I thought it would be cleric one. Um, one of them fails it. Uh, one. We will say uh, it will be the last one. So this one, C, we'll call him. Lake yes. boy. Yeah, only one. Sadly, dude. I, I rolled a 16 and what then a 19 do? minus one. Each. So it, uh, that one guy now has D4 subtra uh, subtracted from his attack. Oh, okay. And saving, and saving throws. throws. Yes. Um, oh, cantrips. It's uh, a first level spell. Is it? Yeah, Bane is, yeah. It's good. good first level spell, though. I had it and I forgot that. Yeah. I will say to Sentry that we're going to need that shield pretty soon. <laughs> and that is some form of bardic inspiration sure. okay. on Sentry. So you add a d6 to either your next attack roll, or skill check, or Fantastic. saving throw. You can use my shiny bardic Or whenever bardic you want to. It doesn't have to be your next one. It can be anyone you choose within 10 minutes. Um, okay, great. So Quill, you're done? Spell. It's a cleric spell. Sorry? Bane is a cleric spell, yeah. But I have it learned as a bard. Oh, weird. Um, Multi-class. Yeah. Multi-class. Um, are you done? Weird. Uh, yeah. I'm done. I'm yeah. not going to move around because I'm going to get killed. Okay. Let's see if warlocks. Warlocks. What? Advantage on his weapon attacks. On his weapon attacks, <laughs> yes, he does. Oh, what's it not? On his weapon so yep. attacks don't count for that. Uh, not does for it use a weapon? No. no. Did Kim realize this, like, while driving around doing his, her shopping on Wednesday? Yeah. His hand is a weapon. <laughs> Drop the first in peace. <laughs> Fuck! That's the same reason I just went pushing a trolley oh. around. That like said, he can't, he'll be at disadvantage. If he tries to He's target in. anybody that isn't Ayla, um, 
So it says um, think... disadvantage on his next weapon attack roll. Mm. But he's shivering. It'll be hard to aim a hand if he's shivering. No, I'm saying that, well, he'll have disadvantage to try and hit Ayla with a fireball anyway, because she's I'm next to him, it's in range. Yeah, close range. Um, so I'm just trying to decide if he goes for somebody else, because then he wouldn't have the disadvantage. No, he'll go for Ayla. I mean, like, the next viable stand? target is me, Katie. <laughs> I don't think this guy would necessarily know what Frostbite does. Like, he wouldn't, he'd be like, like, so swing cool. his head. I think he'd just try and try and f uh, fireball Ayla. So he'll be at disadvantage. So a 13 is my lowest, a 7 Wait, is my what? lowest. Oh, so that's going to be 11 to hit you. No! So he no, tries to throw this, like, bolt of fire. You duck to the side oof, as it rockets up to the side. The one on the other side, who is no longer restrained because he got out of that, um, will attempt to cast. He will conjure what? a flaming sphere. A what? Oh, no. Cool. That's, that's she. He's going to conjure a what? That's a she. flaming sphere. It's just like a big ball of fire. Sorry, I think I misheard. I heard flaming sphere. Yes. Chicken's on the menu. Is it really <laughs> that? Is it really that, you know, I'm hard to believe? Sphere. Hard to believe? Well, a big ball of fire. A big sphere. How big is it? I thought Diamond's a sphere appears in an unoccupied space of your choice. Range. <laughs> yep. And lastly, the duration. Any creature that ends its turn within five feet of the sphere must make a dexterity saving throw. Okay, cool. And then as a bonus action, you can move it. I'm just going to keep that up for myself. So he's going to come to this. Oh, he's separating oh, no. us. <laughs> this ball of fire just erupts between Quill and Lucius. Um, and you see him kind of holding his hand out as he's kind of keeping a concentration on it. Um, Is it? And he just mm. keeps it in place. Thanks. Uh, so I can't get through to those guys. Yeah, and I think then he will keep concentrating on it. Oh, he's just running. Son of a biscuit. Well, he's gonna kind of—he's at the stairs, so I'm gonna put him about here. Making my way downtown. Uh, but he's, <laughs> you can see he's like kind of like peeking up from the stairs, like keeping this concentration. <laughs> on it. Yeah, he's kind of. Like, <laughs> yeah, he, it's very much what he's doing. Nova. So can I still see him? Yes, but he'll have cover against some. Like he'll have a bonus to his AC. But you can still see him. Do I go for it? Go for it. I mean, just decide what you want to do. Is he pretty injured? This one, out. he's not. He, he got hit by um, by Night Frost. Night Frost. And Guiding Bolt. Okay. And a Guiding Bolt, yeah. So oh, got... he's got advantage to hit him, though, because yeah. he's got Guiding mm -hmm. Bolt. <laughs> and the cleric down here, what's he up to? Just cleric. Um, so he, he oh. seems unaffected. He's just been chanting, and he briefly healed his allies. And he's going to go next. So how's it going to work if he has... Guiding bolt on him, but he also has cover. It'll be you have advantage. He gets a bonus to his AC. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna Eldritch blast him. Okay, sure. So you have advantage. If this misses, does it use up my advantage? Yes. It's the next attack against him. Twenty-four oh, so hits. Twenty-four hits. Yeah. Yes. Boom. Ding dong. That's a ten. That's a D10. That's a D10. <laughs> Seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. Dead. That one. Dead. Me. Killed. Well done. Okay. <laughs> Straight up dead. I didn't know. <laughs> Who'd have thought? I didn't know that uh, it ricochets to every person as well. Yeah. And kills all of them. <laughs> Except <laughs> it doesn't though. What? Um, but I do have to make a concentration <laughs> check for him. Uh, you dealt seven damage, so the DC would be ten, uh, which he passes. Uh, but you kind of blast amazing. him with this this uh, you know <laughs> blue beam job. of light. It kind of like sh makes him duck under, like chips the stone. Blast into his face. He's like, <coughs> he's like coughing, but he's still maintaining. Does he fall downstairs and knock himself? No, he doesn't oh, actually. I've got a big decision to make now. What? What do you mean? So cleric you boy. see the cleric at the bottom. Um, look up. How much can he see? And how much? Not much. He can't see me. I bet he's got like a finger of death or some shit. I am behind a sphere of fire. You are. Um, I mean, I don't want to throw Lucius and Nova under the bus, but... <laughs> Ooh, can I It's been fun. Move? Am I allowed to move? You can move, yeah. That... Yeah, no, you okay. can still move. I'm ducking back into this room. Sure. Get me some cover. You almost sure. have a voice in your head. Absolutely. Like something bad's about to happen. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're in a very bad situation. So. Uh, he didn't start his yeah. turn, so technically Nova's turn was still going. That's true. <laughs> Monopoly That's rules. My child. <laughs> inspiration. <laughs> inspiration. Inspiration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. the cleric at the bottom raises up this kind of crozier's staff, mm -hmm. slams it on the ground, uh -oh. begins chanting in this very kind of harsh Asvoroth Makdara, 
as a flaming uh, sword. No. Oh, what the a spiritual a weapon, weapon appears behind Lucius. Um, and he goes to strike you with it. For okay. an 18. Uh, yeah, that'll hit. That will hit. That will be seven points of damage. Uh, radiant, I believe. Is it radiant? No, it's not actually. Force damage. So this uh, flaming sphere kind of uh, knocks into Lucius's back from behind. As you can see the the, the priest uh, ordering it from below. It's pretty nasty. Um, and then he will walk. If I had my Night Frost not in bow form, he has to switch to... <clears throat> and you also used Misty Step already. You used it in the bell tower. Yeah, Thank you, Mark. Uh, Ayla. Motherfuck. <laughs> you think uh, I do the recap every week, Chris Trot. <laughs> Gonna hit this guy again. Sure. Try and hit this guy. Hey, that looks pretty oh, good. Uh, Twenty-one. Absolutely hits. Yeah, Boom. Make a dexterity saving. Oh, Over twenty. Will well. that is a fifteen Oops. for the dex saves? He's gonna take half okay, from the lightning. So, so I know. I'm hoping the I'm trying to do my, the math. If I make up a load of rules, then he'll believe one. Twelve of them. damage from the hammer. Oh. And oh, I, uh, so I rolled a five on damage. So half though. So, half. Yeah. But still. Yeah. Is that a three? Fine. <laughs> we'll we'll make it a three. Aww. Hey. That's kind. It's like he's he's so not worried. So about you slam hammer. the hammer in, knocking this guy down, almost like barely holding on to consciousness. You can see he's he's alive, but very very close to death. Uh, like as he that. kind of staggers, yeah. staggers up. He looks around like you'll never stop it. The cleansing will happen. The abatis will purge all sin. Would you like to do anything else? Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts him emotionally. Yeah. Um. Purge this. <laughs> Purge this! <laughs> I'm going to cast Armor of Agathis on myself, level mm. two. Okay. Dichromancy still goes off? Yeah. So who would you like to target with your five damage? I would like damage? to target how, what's the range on the Dichromancy? Uh, I think it's 60 feet. Oof. Yeah. I'm going to hit him. The guy at the back? Yeah. Absolutely. Does he still have Guiding Bolt? No, no like that's gone hurt. now, but also Dichromancy just does damage. Okay. It's like oh. when he casts a spell, he gets to chip in a little bit of extra damage, but it's a concentration check. Ooh, Lucius. That might have been a very good play. He's a Warlock, he has a plus one. Nine, he fails. <gasps> the Flaming Sphere does vanish, which is nice. just right, because that would go off at the end of your turn, I believe. <gasps> Wait, go off? Like as yeah, in like uh, deal damage. Oh, Any creature oh that God. ends its turn within like a five bomb. feet of the sphere. Yeah. Well, it just no. It's like no, a it's burning like, um, orb that radiates heat, and if you if you end it's your like turn within five feet of it, you, yeah. your, if you start your turn, but it's oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> no. So uh, you watch as the spell yeah, fizzles as he kind of is like ah, strikes in, and don't forget with armor of Agathis, that's what ten temporary hit points because you cast it at second level. <laughs> Correct. Mm, yep. Okay. Good to know. Not well done that. So, would you like to move bonus action? Uh, if I do, I'll evoke an attack of opportunity from spectral. I don't Shit think head. it, no, I don't think no, the, no, the spiritual no. weapon will provoke an opportunity. In which case, I'm going to move yeah. through Quill there. Okay. Nice. Sure. Because he's a spellcaster and he gets disadvantage against me. Some bitch. Some bitch. Why would he get disadvantage against you? <laughs> if he spellcasts against me. Why? The red caped warlock. Because he's. Oh, I see, close. the ranged guy. I thought you were talking about the oh. cleric. I was just like, no, he's nah. not. Plus, I want to be in his okay. tent room. So, right you, so you watch as Lucius like, kind of pushes past Quill. Uh, Sorry, buddy. Being struck. <laughs> there's uh, a there's a floaty weapon behind. You can see Lucius oh. now. By the way, is covered in frost-like armor. Like this this cool. don't touch me. breastplate <laughs> of ice erupts in. The militants now will step in. Uh, one is going to try and engage Ayla. Move here. You're kind of there at the minute. Are you there or there? Mm -hmm. There. Yeah. So he's going to step there. So we are going to have attacks here against... Now that is the one that's baned, so remember when I come to attack you, okay. it's baned. And then I think the other two will... They've seen Lucius cast the spell. Yeah, I think there's going to be one against Lucius, one against Sentry, one against Ayla. So Lucius, okay. this is going to be against you. That is a 17. Can I uh, protect as a that will. You would like to protect Lucius, that will give him disadvantage. That's pretty good, because that means it's now a 7. Yay! Uh, whoop, whoop. Yeah. If he doesn't hit at all, yes. the sentry deflected it, my armor of Agathis doesn't. Doesn't trigger. Trigger. 
I don't know, check it for me. Does it say on hit when you are hit by a weapon? It hits me with a melee attack. Then if it misses, it doesn't trigger. I was just wondering if Sentry no. physically <clears throat> blocks it. Yeah, she basically comes in and gives him disadvantage so the weapon attack misses. Um, one's going to attack you now, though. That is 21. That hits. Oh. That's another, and you can see it's still inflamed, the weapon. Um, that is 11 points of damage total this time. <laughs> That's really bad. Uh, and then Ayla, Bane, um, yeah. minus d4. That is going to be 14 minus 2, 12 plus 3, 15. No. Doesn't hit? No. Oh yeah, you've got super high AC, don't you? Yeah. Uh, so you watch as he swings down, you block it with a hammer, kind of wrapping around the chain, throwing it to the side. But Sentry, as you're protecting Lucius, this flail just smashes you in the back of the head again. Like, patch, sparks Sentry, no. and flames, you She's know, little burning little some little of your uh, things. Yeah, she is currently little. I've got a little fiery hair. Uh, but it is your go now. Okie dokie. Um, Protect yourself. Ba -ba 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 I don't know if I... I lay can, on yourself. I can lay on hands myself, can I? Mm -hmm. yeah. Touch yeah. yourself. I will lay on hands myself then. Yeah, that's your action. Yes, so you don't please. get to make an attack. Okay. Uh, let's How much for? Let's do 10, please. Okay, so you basically put a hand on your chest, restore 10 hit points. Um, yes, please. Um, perfect. Nice. I'm assuming you don't want to move or bonus action or anything. No, I'm good, Ryan. And we go to Quill. Uh, like okay. it. This is, I love this is great combat. Let's like speedy. Everyone yeah. knows what they're doing. Oh, I'm so proud. Woo. So come back to us in ten minutes. <laughs> that's fine. A little look around. Sentry was bad. Is now good. Um, I'm you yeah. did you take any damage? I've temp healed myself. Okay, cool. In that case, uh, I would like to use uh, once again. Now it's like, is everyone okay? Right, yeah, great spell. <laughs> well, How are you feeling? Um, so how are you? I'm. Uh, I've been better. Um, I were so fifteen feet. It's quite a drop. Yes. I am an Aarakocra, so yes. landing is pretty good, right? Do I have any bonus to that sort of thing? You have one wing. Yeah, I have one wing, I know, but I'm, I'm surely I'm used <laughs> to landing at like high speeds. Yeah. You no longer have a fly speed, which means that if you fall, it will be an acrobatics check. If you pass the acrobatics check, you won't take, you'll reduce the amount of falling damage. Ah, uh, okay. Reduce the amount, but you still take some damage. Right. Well, he can, though. He can negate it entirely. It depends on how well he rolls. Uh, that sounds like death for me if I do that. Why split yourself? Well, please, no, please. Mm. Do what you think Quill would do. Uh, he is going to gust the guy that's right next to me. Okay. Because I want to push him away from me. Okay. Um, so what's that? Strength saving throw? That's a strength save. On the militant. Uh, that was a natural one, so plus one, two. He's Point. pushed push. five feet. Pushed Point. five feet back, <laughs> so he's not in my threat range anymore. Uh -huh. Like being pushed. Oh, he's still within Sentry's attack on. Yes, he is. And also, uh, force movement... Doesn't do that. Is, I've had so many people yell this at me, it doesn't provoke opportunity okay. attacks. And I've done that before. after that... So that's I, your action. So can I create a spectral weapon duel by creating my own Casting weapon? spiritual weapon is a full action, I think, but then on your subsequent turn... Uh, no, it's a bonus action. Is it a bonus action Yeah, normally? it's a bonus action. Yeah, bonus shit. action both times. Oh, there you go. Well, I could have done more cool stuff, but um, I guess that's fine. I fucked it up. Well, that's fine. Oh my god. I'm glad you didn't. Okay. Yeah, you can. I mean, you can't attack the other spiritual weapon. Fine. In that case, oh. But you could summon it next to him. I'm gonna. Yeah, summon it next to him. Give him a taste of his own medicine. Okay. Ooh, my so, knifey spoony. Spiritual weapon against him. <laughs> Would you like these glowing orbs or a tiny hand? Uh, <laughs> I think I would have. I mean, in the panic, I'd probably go with spell clash and do the hammer again. I don't have, the hammer is being used by him. So you have a choice of glowing oh, yeah, lights or tiny hands. I think when there's a lot of magical energies in one place, we and one person casts it, his has turned hand. into a hand, is what I'm saying. His has turned into a hand. Oh, yeah, fine. And mine is a hammer. <laughs> God's sakes. <laughs> Soon we will have more of them. Actually, scoot it forward one, Kim. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so okay. we're gonna attack with that. Yep. Um, uh, spell attack. I'm gonna make it Twelve like plus. <laughs> Five, 17. 17. Against the big boy cleric. That does hit him. Okay, nice. and it's a d8 plus three. Uh, I don't want to use that dice, I want to use this one. Regret wow. it. <laughs> Four damage. <laughs> okay, so your uh, your hammer poof, clashes into him, but he does raise up his ha his armored like gauntlets. It kind of impacts on his, on his forearms. Mm -hmm. He kind of grunts and then looks up towards you. Uh, Frowns. Uh, mm. uh, here we go. Anything else? Uh, I like how you said my hammer. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, oh that is. I'm gonna. I am gonna. Oh, I don't want to go towards the spiritual weapon. But he can. He's gonna move it anyway. He can move it anyway, can't he? So I'm just gonna go here, like right in the back corner, right okay. by the front, the sure. exit. 
Sure, sure, sure. Can you do that without provoking it? Oh, it's a yeah, spiritual weapon. He doesn't. Yeah, that's a spiritual weapon, doesn't it? He pushed the other guy back, so he doesn't. So this warlock will turn around and probably try and hit Ayla. <laughs> so he'll turn this around. This one, can you just move him right back, back up to the front? He's going to try and eld he's going to try and flame bolt from. Oh, he's going to come back to the balcony. Not all the way to the balcony, but just step him into the room a little bit, so he's got better visual. <coughs> um, actually, no, he has cover back where he was. Thanks. Sorry, Tom. So he's going to stay where he was. Yeah. Honestly. So he's going to fire bolt Lucius uh, for a do, 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 do twenty to hit with fire bolt. But does that activate your? I don't know if he takes damage melee. melee attack, but he does still have the temporary hit points. That's 10. I'm He's sorry. Lost temporary hit points. That's really unlucky, yeah. So this firebolt just shatters the armor around Lucius. Um, and then Ayla, the one next to you, is going to try and use his Morning Star, I think. He doesn't still have Nova's thing, right? No, it's only for the next attack. It's only for no, the he round, lost that at the end of his turn. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be, this is the Warlock, uh, 21. Mm -hmm. That's going to be... Two points of damage, but it's half. half yeah, because it's not fire damage. So he just kind of like clocks you around the face as a little scratch cuts your cheek. Uh, um, a little scratch is the best you can hope for from a Nova. Um, if I want to attack this guy with my stabby stab, yes. Um, I've got the range to move up, but Lucius is in my way, so I can't really get next turn. Yeah, you'd have to. You can't. You can't attack from within Lucius's space. You can move past Lucius, but you can't attack from his space. So I would move to like. Here? You or can't. You can't get Because there's an too enemy in the people. way, yeah. They're totally blocking What if I push Lucius over the balcony? Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> could do that, yeah. Straight up dead. I mean, I'd like to see that, because also he is actually stronger than you. Yeah, true that. Um, <laughs> yeah, you bounce off him. Um, yeah. I just ping between Sentry and Lucius, like a little ping ball. Um, can I poke my head out? So staying where I am, mm -hmm. is there like a balcony here yes. preventing my view yes. of... Yes, yes. From where you are, if you move out so you're visible, you can see him. But you kind of have the, the thing of he can't see you currently either. Because he's looking up and you're inside the doorway. Can but I if you just poke your head out, you won't get move, visual. Though. Can I move out, Eldritch Blast him, and then move back if You've out. got the movement to do it, yeah, yeah for I sure. Do. Yeah. So I'll move out. Yeah. Sorry, hand. Um, <laughs> can I Eldritch Blast him? Sure. 17 plus? Uh, plus six. Nice. 17 plus six hits. Um, one. Mm. One point of damage. So this little blast kind of like, he Whoa, throws sorry, himself to the side. Uh, as you run back in, you just, he like looks up and follows you. You cannot hide from the purging flames, Ganassi. Mm -hmm. uh, on his turn, as a bonus action, he'll command the spiritual weapon to attack Quill. Oh Christ. Oh, Hesper. You'll the bonus action, this is 21 to hit. Yeah. Seven points of damage. Fine. And then for his main action, oh, cool. he raises the staff, oh, here we go. points it to that area of the, the upper balcony. Oh, come on. And a glowing bead about this big of orange light. I need 20 foot radius. Hang on, I recognize that. I've seen that before. Mm. You'll have you'll have a uh, plus two bonus to this dexterity this save. This is a bad right? one. Oh no! Quill's straight up gone. Oh dear. Lucius and Sentry and two militants as well. Oh god! Uh, that I need everyone. you all to make dexterity saving throws. Kim, you get a plus two bonus. It's not hitting the one person with hit points right now. <gasps> Natural one. You've got um bonus uh, inspiration. That got oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've got inspiration. Can I use it? Um, inspiration, yeah, if you want to use it for your advantage on your saving throw, absolutely. Please. Yeah, you, you can use, use your Bardic me. Inspiration to oh. it. Do you have Bardic Inspiration or Inspiration? I have Inspiration. Okay, yeah, I don't know when I gave that to you, but sure. Just mark it off. I think it was when he killed the cat. Sure. Okay. And you, and you really was it? Um, right, so what did you all get? So Quill? I got natural one, five. Natural one, great. Uh, Kim? Eight. With the plus two? Yep. Yeah. Lucius? Ten. Ten? Nine. Century. Nine. Uh, one of the boat, one of the militants passed. One of them failed. Can I use shield? Not against this. It's a dexterity action? saving throw. Okay. It's not an attack roll. Can I protect uh, anyone while this is going on? It's not an attack no. roll. It's a it's no. dex saving throw. Like no. this, because what happens is yeah. as this bead reaches its point, it suddenly collapses and then explodes in a ball of fire. 
and no, you, as quick as you are, it's not, the flames just yeah. engulf this upper balcony. So I can't use a reaction. Eleven. What do you want? It? Do you want to absorb elements? <laughs> yes. Yes, you can do that. It will give you resistance. I'm Could I I'm use the reaction? Room. Yes, the flames literally Go fill the room. Like, yeah, they burst through the door. Oh, that's why yay. you got the plus to, to the saving throw. Um, so that's a what is this spell? What's it called? I'm really worried. Fireball. About... Okay. It's a fireball. 24. <gasps> oh, that was almost permadeath. That one almost. You... Yep, I know. Fucking I know. three killed me. I know. 24, halved if you succeeded. <laughs> uh, which none of you did, but half for Lucius because he's resistant. So 24 down to 12. Um, both of the militants are incinerated. Oh, good. So how much more damage do you need to do to kill me then? I had two. You were at two? Yeah. And what's your max? Three more 25. damage. Uh, 25, so I would have need to have dealt 27. So three more points. I'm down. And that would have so been roasted. 24 points And down. Lucius is now down. I'm down. Quill is now down. Sentry is <gasps> down. Oh, cool. Sentry's down. I'm down. Sentry took a bunch of hits. You know when you said like, how is everybody? And Sentry went, I could use some healing. And you went, no, you're fine. She didn't say I could use some healing. She, I, I'm it, pretty sure Rihanna yeah. did just, say. Well, she I mean, just lay on hands she herself. She did, that was the thing. It was, she lay on hands herself and you were like, oh, you'll be fine. I didn't think it was going to do 24 <laughs> no, damage. I know you didn't. But it's just, it's comedy for the audience. <laughs> it's, it's comedy? Comedy. It's <laughs> <Like, laughs> like, you know, it's like a, <laughs> really good. Oh. So, so, hold on. Mm. So Lucius is down, Sentry is down. Quill's down. Quill is down. Two of the militants have incinerated themselves, and you just hear. Oh, two of the militants are dead. Yes, the militants just got dusted. They just <sighs> blackened bodies collapse. Um, Hang on, uh, Mark. Injury checks for everyone. Yes, please. <sighs> Constitution saving throws, everybody. Anybody who went down. Uh, the DC will be twelve because it's half damage. Tw 15. Twelve. Fifteen. So just passed. Just passed. Twelve Constitution. Six. DC twelve. So make a saving throw. Constitution saving throw. Oh, eleven. Eleven. Roll the d twenty, please, for me, Quill. Does this account for tiny sentry stats? Yeah, sentry, yeah. tiny sentry stats is mainly <laughs> the same. Fine. You just oh do less God. damage, but you have advantages. Don't lose like, another eye for Christ's sake. Huh? Does she become big again? Yes, you are unconscious. Sentry becomes big again. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Over. You need to make a concentration check for me. Oh, oh no! The DC will be 12. So constitution saving throw. Constitution. And then you need to roll a d20 for me, Tom. I know, I'll do it in a sec. Okay. I'll do it in a sec. I need to see if this happens So it's first. constitution. And this will be literally 12 seconds after she left. 16. 16. Yep, you pass, you keep concentration. Nice. <sighs> d20 for me to please, Tom. Four. Oh, fuck. No, Tom! So what happens to Quill no. is he is blown, the fireball blows him against the back wall of this room and there is a loud snapping sound from his chest. You have broken ribs. Whenever you move or take an action, you must make a DC constitution saving throw. On a failure, you lose that action or movement. I just can't move. You basically like, you're in so much pain, you just can't do what you're trying to do. Wait. Uh, that that goes away after, um, but it's broken ribs actually. It doesn't go away. You need to get it healed. So, um, what what is it? What do I have to make a check on? So whenever you take a move or an action in combat in strenuous circumstances, like if I do anything, I'm so if you try sweaty. and do anything, it's a DC ten Constitution saving throw. <coughs> okay. Okay. It's pretty bad. Broken, <laughs> broken ribs is okay. It's okay. fixable. It's fixable. It wasn't. I. It wasn't like a fall. It's not an eye. I kind of expected. Something to come off me. <laughs> Appendages. <laughs> At this yeah. point. The explosion literally like blows your body into the stone and the force is so impactful that <clears throat> you hear something snap. Mm. Um, however, we still need to stay in the initiative because you guys are down. Uh, oh, so Ayla. Um, so I know I'm This went so badly. It started to look pretty good. I was I like, oh, you guys are doing really too. well. Like Lucius got the concentration. I, know, I was like, I can't this is going it. great. Can you can take off to which one? I can't, I can't avoid it. So it will be from the, I'm still in this guy's Yes, range. so just be from the Warlock. Uh, 16, misses. Misses, thank fuck. Oh. I'm gonna the guy use the well. healing solve okay. on sentry. Okay, do you have that written? Did you have that uh, added yes. to the NDB on? Yes, so it's... Much it is? Um, oh, uh, per day, ba, 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 2d8 plus 2 hit points. Okay, do you want to roll that? Nice. 2d8 plus 2? Because you're applying it. it. Oh god. Spiritual weapon it's concentration. I've got a couple of DMs. It's not concentration. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's not, but he's unconscious. Eight. I believe it still goes. Ten. Actually, no, it's not concentration. Ten. Yeah, it's weird. It stays. 
Ten hit points. Ten hit points back to Sentry. That's good. Cool. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Like, Lucius. Get Lucius up! Yeah. <laughs> saving for Lucius. Two Fourteen. Century. Fourteen, success. The one remaining can militant. I, sorry, can I, yes. since I've, I've only moved. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. You five, can go where you want ten. to. Can I go 15, 20? Now, if you do that, this guy will get hit. Oh, yeah, still no, there. okay. He I'll is stay baned, here, though. He's no, baned. But I'll stay, I'll stay here, it's fine. He's not baned. You're yeah. unconscious. It's concentration. I'll stay here. Oh, yeah. Is it? It's fine. I believe so. Does I'll get a spiritual in the way. weapon go as well? Oh, yeah. No, that's not concentration. Quills will. Uh, no, Quills is not, it's, oh. it's not a concentration spell, okay. spiritual weapon. Um, so he will turn around and try and attack uh, Ayla. Which one? Uh, the militant. Okay. Uh, that's only a 13, I believe. Yeah. So he goes to swing again, you kind of spin around, block it with a hammer. Um, I want to put my body in the way of Yeah, absolutely. Yes. I'm assuming Sentry. that's what you're doing. Oh. Sentry, your go. Hello. So, so you can stand I up. Up Z's. Hello, it's even. me. I have returned. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Everything's fine. I'm going to kill wounds, again. Lucius. Kill wounds. So D8, D8 plus D8. charisma modifier. Yar. So that is. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba yeah, four. Paladin. To be fair, I didn't know I had it. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Shit. Oh, I was going to heal you. Uh, what was is that, that on the dice? Yeah. Uh, no, that's your seven. <laughs> no, it's just okay. a bonus. Okay, so <laughs> that's plus two. two. So that's nine. So nine hit Nine for you. Thank you. That's all right. Quill. Uh, save. Save. 14. Success. Cool. One remaining, the two remaining warlocks. Um, this guy, freed of Ayla, will now back off. You still have Slime of Sight. That one will stay where he is. Uh, one will go for Sentry, one will go for Ayla with Firebolts. Aww. So this is plus four. Which worth it? Double work. Nine against Ayla. No. 20 against Sentry. Oh my god, how do you keep getting... like the hit One the fire up. damage! Yay! Oh, wow. <laughs> and you're just like, you throw up the shield, the pain of the, the burning it, like rockets past you. Can you use protection yeah, this... on yourself? Uh, no. no. Uh, Nova. <laughs> In your room of safety. It's a bit <laughs> Close the door. Yeah, just like... <laughs> hey, uh... <laughs> Come on, Nova, be the hero. Be, be the hero everyone needs. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, remind me, mm -hmm. what is it to chug a lug a potion down someone else? It's an action. Full action. action. Full action. Okay, I will. Chug but then spare the dying brings them back to. But it, then it just potion, stabilizes them. A potion them. would bring you away, yes. wouldn't it? Potion okay. makes them conscious. I will stand here. Can I put myself between the hand and mm -hmm. him? Yeah. And, and from the most part, you know that like they'll try and take down active targets. Mm. Like if somebody's down, yeah. they're not going to try and finish you off while there's still threats around. If so. I crouch, can this guy still see me, cleric boy? Like if I crawl I'll give you cover. Like, I'll give you cover, like hard cover. So, so I'm just going like, to crawl The, the spiritual well. weapon though will still be able to hit you. Okay, but doesn't he need to see? He the, needs to direct command where the it, but I think he just says it's going to move here. It's but he might not here. see that I've crawled out. Maybe. Maybe. So I'm going to crawl out. I'll make out. check for him. How about that? Um, and I'm might hear you. gonna I'm gonna really quietly crawl out and <laughs> put a potion of pe a yeah. Potion? If you want to make a stealth check because you've got enough movement that you could half your speed, yeah, you can. I'll see if you can if you can sneak out and try and not be seen by the cleric. Cocked. Sure. That was a good roll. Though. Twenty. Okay. Yeah, you you don't think he's noticed you? Okay. You I'm kind of crawl out. Pour quill. a potion of healing into Quill. Regular potion of healing? Uh, regular. It's my one, so... Six. Yeah. Six hit points. Six. Cool. Cool. And that's pretty much going to be your full turn unless you've got a bonus action you want to do? No, but I'd like to just kind of... sort of... Don't, don't stand him up, because oh, you're okay, still both... And, and technically, you're also prone if you're crawling. So I'll just put myself down like that. Yeah. So you basically, you've crawled out yeah. of this room, got to Quill and like, blub, 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 and you don't think he spotted you. Yeah. Um, because on be his like, turn, shh, on his turn, he would send the spiritual weapon 5, 10, 15, 20 towards this threat he can see, which is Sentry. Um, he'll attack Sentry with it. I'm going to tell you to shush. That's cocked. Well. Yeah. 12. Ching! Ah. Glances off the shield of Solvin. Um, uh, he's down oh on those, he's down on those. Uh, he will cast a second level healing word on the Warlock, I think. That's his main action. Actually, how many of you can he see standing up? Can he see Lucian? Quite far back, I 
he is Lucius quite standing up? I'm, Lucius I'm not, he's not. He's still on the floor, so he doesn't <laughs> know that Lucius conscious. is okay. Mm-hmm. okay. I'm alive. Just about. No, he's going to do something different. He sent you. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, here we go, boys. He hits you with a spiritual weapon. He holds up the staff and he does some sort of word. Natural 20! <laughs> you feel this force trying to paralyze you and hold you in place. Jeez. And seeing the desperate scenario around you, you're just like, no. Yes! So the, the, the magic shatters around you. And remember, you're back to normal stats now because you yeah. do. You are not, yeah, so you don't have minuses. Out. Ayla. If this is a swing and a roundabout, like you had a bad thing, but you pulled it back. You're up, Smash! conscious. This is my Should shit fight as well. I don't know what to do. Nice. Oh, Not so shit now. I know, I was wrong about you. <laughs> you got the hit points to go reckless and like make sure you get wax in. I think now is time for whacking. Could you baseball bat this dude into that dude? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Could I try and do that? <laughs> sure, if you want to try and be a shot. You wouldn't be attacking him, you'd be trying to shove him. Can I try and shove him off the balcony? Yeah, absolutely. You'd basically. Like move here and then you try and do this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, What's that bad? is contested strength check. I'm going to put this down to. So you roll with advantage because you're raging. Um, just plus strength. Oh, that was the same roll twice. That's cool. Uh, 15, 15, 15, plus 15, 17, 18, 19. 19. I don't think you can push him 10 feet, but you push him right up to the edge. Damn it. You kind of like boom, shoulder barge him right to the edge. Then? I'll say it's your movement. It's working time. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that because you're basically like, you kind of like put your elbow against him. He's like, what are you doing? And then you just push him. <laughs> nice. Like, nice. Um, yep. Reckless or normal? I totally missed. You could reckless. Uh, fuck it. <laughs> that totally missed oh, as well. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, what was the total bonus, just in case? <laughs> 11. No, that's not going to hit, unfortunately. Um, cool. Lucius. Okay. I'm going to ask Night Frost to return to cloak form. What does that count as? Bonus action, I believe. Okay. Ah. Uh, he's pretty stressed because of the combat. You just went down. Yes, he does. He, he returns to cloak form. What's yes, that? Master Lucius. Feeling you are there. in danger. We should we should run. They they will capture you and then capture me. This is we must escape now. Yes, yeah, something like that. I'm going to cast Blur on myself using his. Okay. And then. That's the last spell of his per day. Last spell of his. Yep. And then, can I move through Sentry to here? Yes. I will move there. Okay. It's my bonus action. There's my action. So you watch as Lucius's form becomes blurry and distorted. He's kind of all around himself, and you're not quite sure where exactly he is. Can I see him now or not? Mm. He'll have cover. You can, you're kind of so like peeking him through cover. like a tiny yeah. couple of holes. So I'll have cover. Yes, yeah, you would, yeah. I'm gonna cast Chromatic Orb on this dude. Okay, sure. First level. Oh, I keep forgetting Whoa. about this wall of the other, opposite So side that is side. a yeah. spell it's attack. People left this, just, just as a point, this was meant to be like a fight at the end of like the Abbey kind uh, of thing. And 21? Jump straight in. 21 hits. 3d8. Big hit. So it's kind of better that we do it now. Yeah, yeah before it's burnt out. You haven't played no. many MMOs, Kim? No. Yeah, because normally there's this thing of like, if you rush to the end and fight the end thing, all the trash mobs come mm. towards you. Mm. 19 <laughs> damage. Ni- the guys Whoa! The what kind of damage is it? Nice. It is ice damage. Ice damage? Dichromatic. You freeze him solid. No. Wow. Nice. His no. body kind of tips over. <gasps> yeah! Death. Terminator style. Yeah, he, he's dead. Dichromancy? That's level one, so, so it's four, four on him. On yes! Well done. Militant. Lucius, you're doing it! He, he hadn't been hit before, so that's the oh. first damage he's taken. <laughs> this kind of shard of ice impales on his shoulder. He's like, ah, you'll never defeat us. That was a lot of damage. Yeah, that was right. great. How? Good round. 3d8. Uh, Did well. That's awesome. This one. Turns around. He's just like, never. I'll never give in. But you can see the censure on his thing has gone out now that his allies are dead. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Um, Good boy. Uh, Ayla, 16. No! <laughs> Hits against that. Uh, we jump to Sentry. Hello. Um, big Sentry. Big, yes, old, big, big old Sentry. sentry. Big bot Sentry. It's like Optimus Prime, like out of, <laughs> out of <laughs> truck form. <laughs> <laughs> is the, um, hmm, hmm. How far is the balcony across again? Uh, it's uh, 20 feet, 20, I think. 20 feet. Yeah. What's it made of? Stone. Uh, okay. I'll watch set fire to it. 
No, <laughs> always, 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 always. There's, there's, always like, there's things well. like tapestries and things like that around, but the floor is made of stone. Yeah. Like the whole building. It's a stone church. Yeah, no worries. I mean, they, they, love yeah, the they follow the flame. Yeah. They, they love the yeah. flame. Yeah. Proof yeah. Abby. Like, also, it might superpower them. That's true. I'll just I'll smack of the dude. Smack okay. of the dude. Smack of the dude. Need to step over. Stepping over. Like Step yep. for this. Stepping up to that boy and giving yep. him a good old smack in the face. That's a whacking. That is a whacking. Century whacking. So that is ba 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 ba. Hang on. Plus, where'd it go? There's an eleven. Eleven. Thanks. So that is plus six, seventeen. Seventeen hits. Oh. Boop, boop. Yeah. And then hits. Eight plus four. Eight damage. Do you want to do any smites or anything? Nah. Bog standard smackaroonies, oh, please. Good job because that was already him dead. Oh. Hey, nice. Century's axe. Thunk into his skull. She puts the boot on his chest. Oh. Pushes him over the edge. Oh. <laughs> Two overboard. Nice. I'm so proud of us. Quill. There's <laughs> um, one crawling on the floor. <laughs> hey, she got Quill up. Like, yeah. She's like... And the guy didn't that is such us, a Nova but... move, though. I really feel that she would like crawl out of like this room that's on fire and like... Get up, Quill, <laughs> please. Mustn't drop. Mustn't drop. I mean, I'm going to uh, make an attempt to stand up, I suppose. Yeah, you can stand up. Uh, I can just uh, stand up for free. Concentration check. Yeah, exactly. Uh, constitution um, saving throw. So it's a con saving throw. Oh, Three plus one, like, four. You go to get up and it's just like, <laughs> and you just can't do it. Like you physically In that can't case, pick yourself up. It's too painful. While I'm on the ground, can I try and crawl into the safe space through the door? I mean, that was your move action. That like, was my entire move. Your move, your move was to get up. Uh, like his move, getting half up my is part move. of your move. Yeah, that, 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 and your move action. Oh, I failed my entire you can't move, move. Yeah. check. Yeah. Okay. In that case, um, from the ground, I'm trying to figure out. Oh, yeah, he need... loses his entire thing then. No, his entire thing. He's lost okay. his move action. Yeah, he's still got action. If I. Action. And uh, what I'll probably say is, like, like, you can't. If you fail your move action, I'm not going to make you check for your action. So you can either. Basically, you can either do a move action or an action per turn, depending I on see. your saving throw. Okay. And if I. Because I think that rereading this now, I'm like, this is really fucking hard. Like, this is harsh. If I fail a spell action. So the first thing you try and do on a round. That's what you make. That's a, what you make a saving throw. If you fail that, you can't do it, and then you can do the other thing. Okay. And if I fail a spell, if in future rounds, would I burn a spell slot? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oof. That's a big. Yeah, it's a big, big oof. That's a big yikes. Um, I will do a level. Oh, I can't even. I don't even want to burn any spell slots. I know what's left. Hmm. Uh, he's sixty feet, so I'll cantrip sacred flame. The warlock on the opposite side. Okay. What saving throw? Um, Dex. Uh, that is a nine. Hey, uh, that's a hit. One D8. That's a hitting. One D8 radiant, that's five damage. On the wall, five. on the opposite side. It scours his body and you can see it burns part of his robes, this holy fire. Ah, ah, ah. And you can see he's staggering, like half of his face is burnt. Ooh. He's been shot, like he still has the bleeding from the arrow from Night Frost. He's in bad shape. Oh, um. And I guess my spiritual weapon's been inert for a couple of seconds, so yeah, I'll bonus, bonus action, action, reactivate whack. that, and then whack the priest. Sure. Um, boom. 10 plus 5, 15. Wow. 15 does oh. not hit him. Oh, really? Clangs against a breastplate beneath his robes. God damn. What a mecha priest. The warlocks. Well, there's only one left. Um, now, that he, now that you've sacred flamed him, he can see you and Nova. Um, yeah, but I'm laying down. He's, you're going to get cover, you get plus 2 AC, but he's going to go for you. Because uh, you can also get advantage in being prone. I think actually if you're prone, you might have advantage or disadvantage. But we're like, yeah, hiding Attack roll against happening. the creature has advantage if the attacker is in 5-3, otherwise it has disadvantage. And you're both prone, so it has disadvantage. And we've got cover as well. That was a natural one. Bam. So, we should he like launches it, but you're so pressed against the ground, it's like... Pfft. Down. Yeah, it's ball. great yeah. against ranged attackers. Yeah. Melee yeah, attackers yeah, yeah. Melee are like, attackers. hi, thanks. <laughs> yeah. um, so that's their go, because there's only one of those left. Nova. Pop up. Wait, why did I hear? <laughs> yeah, I was kind of saying yeah, to I was, you, I was you thinking could do that. some heals. He plays head. a cleric like a sorcerer. Yeah. It's great. In my He's head, like, I was like, pew, 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 pew. pew. <laughs> Throughout the entire round, I was like, I'm going to heal myself. I'm going to heal myself. And then you said you should I heal. I was like, yeah, I'm going to heal. I'd like to hit that guy. <laughs> yeah, that well, was a very Nova, surprising you should hit that guy. Ugh. Um, can I? I'm so bad at this. I just want to make sure that I'm between this hand. And sure, I mean, yeah, you can do that. Um, I mean, it can still move around you. Move around. But... I'm just gonna be 
be like. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> really Uh-oh. Annoying. Uh-oh. Sure. <laughs> um, can I pop up? Sure. Cast. Um, I would like to cast Hexblade Curse on the cleric. Yes. Which does bonus stuff. Bonus action. Um, so that's my bonus. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just straight up Eldritch Blast him. The old Warlock special. Pow. Remember, it's uh, crits on 19s and 20s now. Oh, is that for everyone? No. Just for just, just me. It's Hexblade Curse. Oh, 13 uh, plus 6 is a 19. Which kind of is a 19? That's it's a not a natural, natural 19. It hits, though. You do damage. Um, so I do... 1d10 plus... Plus, hold on, I'm just checking the hexy. Yeah. Curse. Two. I think it is just... No, that's Hex Warrior. I just had it. I literally just had it. Um, You'll remember it. D&D. &D. Learn abilities. Yeah, two. Two. Four points of damage. Four points of damage. Nice. You kind of like blast him. He holds a hand up like, ah, curse you, foreigner scum. And then can I pop wow. back down again? Like just behind <laughs> Just lay oh, down. Yeah. Sure. So your entire movement was get up, get down again. <laughs> he but, know, but he knows no, where he you knows are. Where I am. Okay, I'm going to stay up then. <laughs> okay, stay up. okay. He gets this event. Well, the no, spiritual no, weapon. No, warrior. The spiritual weapon. Warrior. <laughs> the spiritual weapon gets advanced. That's right. Mike yeah. was like, you can drop down if you want. He's going to go mm, smack. Yeah. <laughs> right. Is it a hand? Is this spiritual weapon a hand? No, okay. it's like a crozier staff, um, like a pope staff. Pope staff. Right. Seeing as you are stood up and Ayla and Sentry are the front line. He raises his hands and three beams of air oh, fire still got stuff. We... launches out. One for Sentry, one for Ayla, one for Nova. Girls Club! Nova, that's a natural 20. Oh. 26. Whoa. Ayla, 16. No! Sentry, that's a natural 20. Oh my oh, god. Oh, that's a big yeah. Can I react? Yeah, what do you want to do? What did he cast on, what did he get on me? 26. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with shield. That's going to be... Oh, the 11. 14 damage to Nova. Fire damage. It's a crit. And then... 12 fire damage to Sentry. Peace out, guys. <laughs> you down again. Down again. Oh. Constitution saving through, please, Sentry. Yep. 14 damage to me. Here we go, lads. Yeah. I can't believe I've got... Look at me, crispy! 14? 14? 14's enough. Woo! That's enough. Um, but you are down. Uh, he is now down, down to... And then she gets up again. And then she gets back He's down. Out of those, out of those. <laughs> He's burning out. his spell slots, though. Mm. Mm. Think of that. That's good. Uh, killing us. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just be his punch bag. Uh, Ayla, <laughs> you watch the sentries blasted in the chest by this fire. Probably light part of like her vines on fire is just like... <laughs> slumps down. Leap over like ah! <laughs> I'm so bad. Like of like, do a cool thing that <laughs> might fuck you up. <laughs> it might fuck. It really would fuck me up, probably. Yeah, you're, you're low on HP, right? I'm not. I'm okay, but he's, he's I'm any fall damage would also be halved because you're raging. Because it's bludgeoning damage. He's also a ranged spellcaster, and you're getting in his face. Oh, it's very true. How how if I was to go down the stairs, how far am I? It's literally the same amount of squares. <laughs> like the, the balcony <laughs> occupies almost the exact same space. Just, like really politely Safety running down first. the stairs, but yelling at the same time. <laughs> oh, I was trying to think if I could get to this guy as well. Actually. That guy would be um, harder to get to. Yeah. Hmm. It's your go. Rock Guys. Roll. If this goes really fucking badly for me, I'm gonna need you to get me up. <laughs> and I'm gonna trust you on that. Yes. I'm gonna jump off. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Make me an athletics check. With advantage. Some... Yes, yeah, sure, absolutely. Do it. Oh, oh fucking do nailed do it. it. Do 21. It. So you go five. Somersault. 21. Somersault. Um, from above. I mean, you would pretty much go like, I reckon you could land like here and then easily get round to that guy. Oh, you're If that's what you want to do. Yeah, I want to smack him. Uh, so the other thing is, do you want, are you trying to reduce your damage? Like your fall damage? You should make an acrobatics check to try and like land properly. Sure. Sure, acrobatics. Wait, do I get advantage on that? No, it's no. dex. Okay, 14, 15, 18. Yeah, I'd say that reduces it. Because normally you take 1d6 worth of fall damage per 10 feet. This was 15 feet. So I was going to do 1d6, but with that kind of check, you fucking superhero landing. Yeah. The stone cracks. 
you pick up the hammer and then you just run and charge into this guy. Oof. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Oh, let's get you from reckless. Oh, that's not that you need to. 20, 21. 21 hits. Yes. Make a dexterity save. I will do. Nine. 10 damage from the hammer. He 10 damage from the hammer, he failed his save. His blast of one. <laughs> So you watch as like he staggers back, um, bloodied now that you can see kind of blood like kind of dripping yes. from his mouth where you've hit him and he's just like, wild elf, I'll kill you with my bare hands. What? Oh. Lucius. Whoops. <laughs> Made uh, him mad. Someone needs to help Sentry because I can't. I literally can't. I could stabilize you. But you can medicine check, stabilize? If I cast Mending on Sentry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Pew the guy, go on. Pew the hand. Pew, pew him. You need to pew, pew some the guys. Oh, they don't forget there's the Warlock on the other side. So. Yeah. I'm going to cast Chromatic Orb on him. On the big guy? Yes. Okay. Oh, you're going to try and die Chromatic the other guy? Yes. Yeah. Smart. Smart plays. Work. 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 America. 20. Natural 20? Nice. No. 20, oh, yeah. Hits. 3d8. On what kind of damage is this? This is ice again. Ice, okay. Going for all the ice damage this time. Uh, 11. Nice. Oh, What's this on the warlock? big hit. And then Dichromancy the warlock. Uh, for four. Dead. Oh, oh, some, yeah. some three hit points. Warlock tumbles down the stairs. Yeah, pretty much like, oh. yeah, like, st <laughs> like an icicle, like a spear goes through his chest like Boromir and he just stumbles down the stairs. Oh, yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. Back. Okay. Oh, okay. Then, uh, the sentry, I need you to make a death saving throw for me, please. Good lads. Eight. Fail. <laughs> Quill. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to stand up again. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna be there like, no! <laughs> 19. Ooh, oh. Yeah. You, you're like, I gotta get up. I gotta get up. Um, yeah. gotta you get feel up. like this gotta burning pain, like this hideous... Have you thought about healing? Weapon. Now with that, I'm gonna heal. Oh my god. Uh, actually, can I get to her? Five, ten, fifteen. Healing word is fake. But, but then I'll be right next to the spiritual weapon. Yep. But you could heal in word. 30 feet. It is healing word, but I also kind of need to save myself as well. And me. And you. Wait, and um, all of us. What's the plan? I'm on three. What's the plan, Birdman? I'm going to bonus action potion myself. Yes. And then I'm going to go over and heal us. Healing Smart. word is a bonus action. Uh, yeah, but healing word is also garbage. You want to secure wings. Uh, I want to kill wings. Um, okay. So potion yourself. So it's a. You have a regular healing potion. Regular healing potion. Okay. Oh, big ten. Oh, oh. nice. Uh, ten healed. Bam. Okay, and now I'm going to walk over to Sentry, mm -hmm. right in front of the spiritual weapon, 15, 15, full of vim and vigor. How much do you have? Twenty-five. Thirty feet. Thirty feet. Oh uh, no, I stood up, so fifteen. Oh yeah, fifteen. Yeah. Oh. So I'm like uh, five, yeah. ten, fifteen, right in front of the spiritual weapon. Um, Is that within five feet of Sentry? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then cure wounds. And then cure wound. D eight. Is it? Yeah. D eight plus wisdom. Yeah. Plus three, I believe. D eight plus three. D eight plus three. D eight plus three. I'm just going to do it. D eight plus three. Three plus three. Six, six, <laughs> it's better than being dead, right? Six. Yeah, I guess. Warlocks are dead. Nova. Cool. So far, this has taken about 18 seconds. <laughs> All of this. 18 seconds. Bill, 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 bill. There's been more than three and it's been, No? Oh, four if you include the first one, so yes. So 24 seconds. Has it really only been that? Yeah. 22. Jeez. 18 plus six. Oh, plus six, not plus four. Okay. Six, six seconds per round. Yeah. I, I've had to very much track how long it's going to take people to do stuff and how long everything else. So. Uh, Nova. <laughs> I mean, you can think about it a bit, but come on now. I'm pretty injured, so I'm just going to like lean on the balcony and just point a hand over. Yeah. And just, oh, just 11 plus 6 is 17. Just hits him, yeah. Nice. Don't forget your plus 2 damage from Hex, Hexblade. Eight points of damage. Oh. <sighs> this blast like rips you part of his guts and he just looks down like, no. And he's like, Ugh. he gets his staff and two whacks, whack, whack. It's just a staff though, right? It's, just it's a, a very heavy looking, very heavy it's looking staff. It's just a twig. First one, 16. Nope. Next one, nine. Woo. No. It's just a twig. Poo -poo. Your turn. Right. Oh, actually, oh. one quick thing. He is going to healing word himself. Oh, for what? Who heals? <laughs> yeah. Not you. Who does? 
It's not going to happen. Right. <laughs> 16, no! Just hits. Just Does hits it? him. Yep, 16 okay, is AC. Okay, so, um... Dexterity saving throw? Yes. Oh, that is a 15. Oh, that man. Uh, uh, for... <laughs> <laughs> 10 damage from the hammer. Does that include your rage? Yeah, because it's 4 plus 6, ten, right? Ten yeah. 10 damage from the hammer and 3 damage of lightning. So half. half. That is half. That was is six. half. Nice. Exactly. Oh. Half. Oh. So you block the two strikes and then as he's rearing it up again, you bring the hammer in an upward swing. Oh. It actually catches the edge of where Nova's blast ripped through his guts and the edge of the hammer tears chunk from flesh. And then from this opening, the lightning crackles down your arms, up the hammer, and into his chest. There is a brief like, <laughs> and then he just hits the ground. I'm gonna spit on him and then run upstairs. Uh, yeah. Okay. I heal for eight. I'm gonna run up to the curse. Yep. Yeah. Where are you running to? Back up to these guys. Back up to these guys. Sure. Um, can I have a quick look at everyone? <laughs> sure. I'm still pretty um, hurt. I'm gonna. We're gonna drop out of initiative. But let's just try and keep like a play by play here because I need to know how much time passes yeah. between things. Cool, nice. um, so if I'm uh, having a look at everyone with my passive, how yeah, sure. I mean, would you, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, you don't don't worry about saying with my passive, like, just you can ask how everybody's doing. How is everyone? <laughs> half, half, more okay. than half fucked. Still pretty bad. Do you, yeah. doesn't say that. Guys, do we need to regroup? Quill, you you can hardly move. I'm I'm in. <laughs> what, I heard I something cracking him. I think that. Is this time to call it? If someone carries you, by the way, then you won't need to make the checks. If somebody's literally like... Val is still in here. The altar's here. We can go into the altar and close it off. We're not in a position to fight anything else that's down there right now. We're not in a position to do so. We're We're not really in a position to leave. No. We need the keys. If we escape, there's going to be more people that spot us leaving, trying to jump a wall. We could hide. We could hide in the altar if we can just smack it open with a hammer. Can you send Night Frost in? Can I start looting bodies? Sure. Like, I just want to see. Does anyone have yeah, so what, the ones keys. up on the balcony? Yeah. Um, I'm looking for keys and healing and money. Uh, and the ones on the balcony, uh, you're less, I mean, in terms of money, let me just I'll roll, see what you get. Uh, six gold amongst the ones, like, what, like, you know, Nova goes around patting their pockets. They have flails, uh, they have armor, shields, um, they have looking. their robes. About six shields. gold in coins. Anyone have any keys? <laughs> I have a uh, no. spectral shield. Not on these guys up on the thing. Any potions? No. Right, I'm like leaning up against the banister and I'm just going to hold a hand up and say like, right, whoever wants it, just walk into it. <laughs> I'll walk into it. I'll okay. walk into it. <laughs> oh, two. <laughs> okay, what? I'm healing. healing. Oh. Um, Sentry. Can Sentry you, needs well, can, you heal, can, can you heal two people? I can lay on How hands many myself. How people can you? If you got any lay on hands left? I've got, I've got ten lay on hands points left. So I can oh, just... well in that case, Lucius walked into it, so I'm going to uh, cure wounds him. Or whatever the... Yeah, yeah. cure wounds. Yeah. Uh, the eight plus wisdom. Five plus three, so eight hailed. Thank you. I'm uh, going to go downstairs and look at this altar, quickly. Okay. Bala! Bala! Uh, Bala's not in here. You sent her off to find the keys. Yeah. You go over to the altar and you can see this uh, white marble altar decorated with beautiful engravings of the sun and of Palador. Um, but you do notice that there are, on the altar itself, there are two stylized um, like gateways and they have keyholes um, <coughs> that you can see. Like, it, you, I'm not going to make you do an investigation check because you know Night Frost has told yeah. you that it's there. And knowing that, you easily find them. They're slightly hidden, but you can easily find Maybe them. Maybe we can pick these locks. Check the cleric. Um, oh yes, I'll check the cleric. I'll go okay. downstairs and pick them and check, check the them. bodies, okay. yeah. the, the, yep. any of the bodies for keys. Yeah, so you go through the bodies. Um, searching all the different bodies like maybe takes like another sort of like 30 oh. seconds, I think. Um, when, like everything so far has Everyone's been about 30 seconds. Yeah. yeah. Um, so on the, on the priest that you found, there is a set of keys, but they look very plain. Like okay. they're for n- doors. Could we lock doors around this room? Yeah, which is so. What I can do is we can kind of slide this out a bit now. Like, should we just all say we go downstairs? 
Yeah, sure. Like, yeah. let's not um, split up right now. I, I want to look. So, uh, and then we can, if you guys want to slide this one back, or we can probably... Like, we can actually probably remove around. this Does entire balcony. Does anyone want to be anywhere in particular? Oh, so we're going onto the bottom floor. Yeah, like cool. maybe if you slide that over towards you, and then I'll slide this over here. Oh, yeah, cool. I have one spell spot. I think we should... So, go. you can see um, there is a door over here. Uh, there is a pair of double doors at the very end. Those are the only two exits out of this church. Where's okay. the stained glass window? We Behind where Lucius is, yeah. Okay. But that is about <clears throat> 10, 15, like 10, 5, 10 feet off the ground. Could we maybe lock the... the we could try and maybe barricade, or no, like move a pew and... But I'm just thinking, if we've got a set of keys... Yeah. Like... We could escape at the side exit. You're quite intelligent, Nova. You don't suspect this is the only set of keys to these doors. Mm -hmm. Something like this, people would have other sets of keys. So dumb. The time it takes to unlock a door, yeah. Well, you have to find the person who has the keys and then they have yeah. to get the right one. Yeah, way absolutely. And by yep. which time we've heard them and shit ourselves. Yeah, absolutely. Quill, you can definitely hear echoing, because you can see that there are these slit windows that lead out into the cloister and also the doors. I mean, there is shouting. Like, there is, you know, people don't necessarily know exactly what's gone on yet, but there are people running around and things are being organized. Again, you don't know if people cool. are coming towards you or... Okay, well they know we went through the roof, they'll know we're in here. Um, we could... We mean, they'll know we've been in here. Find Vala. Uh, Try and find Vala. Night Frost, can you sense invisible people? Uh, not in any magical means, uh. Master Elenasto, but I can okay. try and search for her normally. Would I be able to like feel vaguely where the spell is? Or Ooh, something? just that it's currently still in effect. Could I use message uh, and point because I point just my finger range. toward a creature and whisper a message? Is no. Toward. I mean, if I just point it in the direction. So what? You just start doing this? Well, I, like, I mean, boop, I know, boop, 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 I know like the, rocketing out cantrips. Yeah, I mean, I know the vague direction she went, and I'm also familiar with her. Um, What's the range on it? 120. It is. It says it's blocked by like one foot of stone. That's this whole place. Is That's basically yeah. these walls. Yeah. Okay. Either we smash open this altar and go down it, or we escape the church. Yes, you could try and break it. Yeah. If I'll we go down there, they're just going to follow us down there, and I'm fine. Also, isn't but, there a lot of energy down there, like magic yeah. energy? but there's also stuff. where the two um, religious leaders are. Night Frost, how far into the tunnel were the two people? The tunnel descends quite far, uh, but it is a singular path. Once you go down there, there are no branches. The holding cells were along the way. Um, a few minutes, uh, five, ten, going down. No, longer. Then yeah. five, fifteen, twenty minutes. We could, should probably travel. escape. Could we hide down there? Uh, there is nowhere necessarily to hide, but this They'll is the only the entry altar point. smashed open. Yeah. They'll They'll see if you could, if you could open the altar without anyone knowing, then perhaps. We could try picking the locks, but it's going to take time. Yeah, in the meantime, definitely try. We could. I can stand guard. How many exits are there from this room? Two. Door over here, and then this pair of double doors at the end. Oh, so would the we way, know? The way we would know way. that this was. This is the exit to the hall. No, the that's not the exit to the front of the abbey. It's that not. leads into the the cloister. Um, so if you bring oh. up the, the the other map, yeah, I can show you roughly just press the, the, back the layout. Button. Yeah, so you don't know the exact layout of some of these other rooms and stuff like that, but basically this leads out into a series, like a corridor that leads around the cloister. So this one leads here? And this one leads here and then the main entrance is around there. And from you would know okay. roughly from the outside like where the main entrance was and stuff like that. I'm not going to give you too long to look at that. But. Sentry, start barricading the doors. Okay, if we manage to okay, get... Okay, make a strength check. Yep. If we nice. manage to get oh. down there, I yeah, have sure. an idea. Yeah, So you can both do different doors if you want. Oh, fuck. Eight. No. Nine. Ten. Okay. Ten. Ten? Very good. Ten and nine? Nine, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try so you start like dragging pews over and trying to like barricade the doors, but they have, it's heavy work, you're tired. Um, if we manage to open the altar with, with the keys, if Valor returns, I have an idea. You guys could escape and I could hide down there with invisibility. I could let myself into the cells with the two leaders and hide with them, wait for this to blow over, and then we can all break out together. Where are we gonna go? I feel we like this to... only blows over when the purge is done. Yes, the purge is happening. They're on their way here now. We need to decide. We're not in a position to fight. And I no. think that this is the point where this has been about two, three minutes, um, like with the battle, and then you dragging the pews and searching the bodies. Uh, there is the, the two doors at the very end do open, 
and you begin to see more figures coming through. Oh my god. Um, we have to run. Smash the window? So you window. see as an armoured, like fully armoured plate mail, um, great sword, <coughs> knight, effectively emblazoned with these symbols of the Ashbringer and two militants, these kind of like warrior types, um, pff, kick open the doors and you just hear like a, we found them in the church. And that's going to be initiative, I'm afraid, guys. Oh. We need to get out. Jeez, I think the only way out oh, is cool. Natural. upstairs. <sighs> through the end, the roof again. Um, oh, God. I've only got one spell slot. Yeah. Unfortunately, the ones that spotted you outside obviously raised the alarm and mm. they've now been searching and stuff, so. Uh, then we have the paladin. And then militants. I'm just waiting for them to be like, uh, we're fat. Uh, and then Valor, two knives. Where's them all? <laughs> One invisible. <sighs> that's, 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 right? They're all dead. Oh. Okay. It's probably a good time for a break, just FYI. Yeah, is, that, is it break time? Oh, second combat. Is it break time? Mm -hmm. it's it is indeed break time. We're going to oh. take a break. Uh, man, God. it's a tough spot. We'll Can the guys get out of it? Join us after this break. Don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss it. Oh, bye. bye for now.
Hello, welcome back as we kick off back. another uh, very exciting, <laughs> ooh, dangerous, dangerous little combat here. Wow, ooh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh! A bit of goblin. Uh, welcome back as the party are now, it sounds like making a desperate escape from Bright Flame Abbey, Somehow. pursued by the Abbey's forces, having slain several of them. Um, but now they must, uh, it seems to be, make an escape unless you have another plan. But we roll into initiative. Ayla. Uh, you're also in the break. Oh yes. We Go checked on. my concentration, we had a second concentration check because I got hit ray. by Scorching Ray and I passed with a 14. Yes. Okay. Quill. Am I, uh, oh, oh, 18. <laughs> Nova. I thought oh, I was no, 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 no. panicking. Lucius. 20. Sentry. 7. Lucius, you're the first one to actually see these three figures burst in from the far door. Um, you're not sure how many more there might be. There's another side <coughs> door, but there's all around you. There are sounds now of people like trying to like rush and, and find you and stuff like that. There's there's a sound of alarm. Lucius is panicked. How hench do these hench bros look? One of them is wearing full plate. Has a, carries like a great sword. Well, not quite full plate, like a splint mail. It's a um, pretty hench. Uh, he looks he looks like a very strong melee fighter, and then the other two are similar to the ones you fought before. They just have like f they have these flails. And all then we can hear sounds of other people all around. Like the problem with this like stone abbey is the sound is muffled for most of it, but you, there's these tiny windows where you can catch glimpses of shouts and stuff. And I mean, these guys just yelled. They were in yeah, here. yeah, they, and they mm. just shouted. They're in the church. Huh? Mm -hmm. So Lucius. What are these things and how heavy are they? Uh, they're like little side tables where things like bowls um, and like little cloths. Uh, can I pick it up? Little stool, yeah. Can I smash the stained glass window with it, please? Whoa. Uh, it's above you. You can definitely try. How high up is it? About. Be about 10 feet off the ground. I'm going to stand on the altar. Yeah. And then throw it at it. Sure. Make a strength check. You're not proficient, so I'm not going to give you a proficiency bonus. It's just going to be d20 plus strength. Plus one. Eight. <laughs> and it cracks. Doesn't break. Well, you see the idea. Let's <laughs> escape. I'm going to get back behind the altar and duck down. Okay. That's Lucius's go. Uh, Quill and or Nova. So we'll go with Nova first. From yeah. when we were upstairs, what was like that end of the... Just About ends flat. It's like so an organ. Was, well, there wasn't like yeah, there wasn't. Doorways, no, it didn't loop around. Yes. Yeah. There's the one that leads back up to the roof, and then there is a doorway just you can see right there. Yes. Which is actually you guys don't know where Valor went, but that's the closest exit when she came down the stairs. Hmm. Would Nova figure that out? I we think Nova is smart enough to basically. Like, there's no way Valor would have run through the combat to this back door. Like, if she was going to go into the rest of yeah. the abbey, she would have taken that door there. Goes like that. Okay. Can I run over to the door and carefully look out? I just want to see, like, if there are other people coming, like, how clear it looks. Yeah, what, to this door? Yeah. Yeah, you absolutely can. Yep. So you move over to that one, you open the door, and what you see is, uh, in fact, actually, I'm going to swap a miniature here so we can get some... Oh, stuff. cool, he looks even more terrifying now. You see... Oh, cool! Two more of the armoured figures have emerged from a doorway. Uh, um, can I immediately slam the door? Sure, yeah. And be like, there's two more this way! No, oh, it's like Spell Clash all over again. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I'd say move, action to open and close the door. Any bonus actions you want to take? Got none. Quill? Um... God, how, how do I even try and break the thing? I'm... Oh, yeah. Are um, we still deaf, by the way? No. I'd say the deafness is now gone. You and me, we can hear again. Woohoo! Yeah. So... You had, like, several minutes after the combat where you were, like, trying to figure out what to do and loot the bodies and stuff. I can put everything Jeez. in its terrifying glory. I... <laughs> gonna... I would say, actually, Nova as well. When you saw them, they it looked like they just left the room and you hear them kind of say something like... We'll take care of it, Father Co uh, Friar Cormag. Stay there. And then they start making their way towards the door. And they see you, and they like, whoosh, and then you chink, <laughs> shut the door. Is that a dragonborn y kind of name or a dwarfy kind of name? You don't know. You don't, you've not met many dragonborn. I'm going to attempt. It doesn't sound dwarven, though. I'm going to attempt to stumble towards the altar. Okay. Which means I need to make that constitution mm -hmm. check. 17 plus. Yep. So I'm going to. Wheezing. Pained breaths. Walk over a little bit, and then I'm going to point my pistol 
at the stained glass window. Great, yeah, make a ranged attack. Range attack what was against that a fire? window. Huh? What was the fire called? Cormac. Mm. I mean, I'm going to miss the window. Cormac with a hard G, so <laughs> a big old window. window. He's going to miss the window, though. Six. Yeah. He, <laughs> it's not so much you miss the window, you don't, your shot is kind of aimed weirdly, and the bullet hits at an angle and then deflects off like the lead in between the panels. Oh, I see. Into the wall. It just, like, it's a bad shot. Oh, God. Oh, it was AC 10, like, I'm with some. Four, five. I'm gonna get behind the altar with Lucius. Okay. Hi, buddy. Hi. I think we're really, yeah. really in a bad pickle. I'm in a lot of pain. What's wrong with you? <laughs> what can we do? Uh, die? No. <laughs> Can't do that. Nova. Door is thrown open. You see these two here. This one barks orders like, "We've already got like, come with me." Okay, so they can't get to us this turn. Uh, one is going to attack Nova, the one that just opened the door. Oh. Say goodnight to me. Nice. Um, in fact, as he opens the door as a bonus action, he brings up this great sword by the power of ash and flame. And the sword ignites Oh my in fire. god. 21. The first attack. Yeah, that's 15 with the second attack. That doesn't hit. Okay. Oh wait, no, sorry, I am 15 exactly. Is it hits? Um, Would you like to shield? The first one deals 12 damage. I'm down. You're dead, oh. so you don't even need to worry about the shield. Yeah. No. Uh, concentration, constitution saving throw, please. DC 10. Please. Natural 20. Yeah, perfect. You get back up. My injury no, heals. But uh, it doesn't work that way. But. Would the spell on Valor drop? Oh, yeah. It would. <gasps> She's not invisible anymore. Big old, big old dingles. Oh, no. She's not. Big old dangle dingles. She's not, like, nearby, is she? Um, oh, God. We'll these, find out. These please let her be, like, up. in the room so we can it's scrab good. her. Please. Surrender. <laughs> you don't see her. Uh, sentry. Uh, uh, okay. Um, fuck. Uh, Just, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is really hard because the first encounter was already a difficult encounter and now you're basically getting like two halves of an encounter have become one encounter and you're fighting it straight away. Can I move up to Nova and then bonus action cure wounds on her? Oh, it's sad, it's an action for uh, cure action wounds. Action for cure wounds? Yeah. Uh, healing word if you have that, that's a bonus I action. don't have healing word. Then you can't. I can at least protect if I'm near her yes, though. Yes, you could, yeah. So I'm, I'm, yep. Okay, so sentry moves over Nova's body. Ayla. I'm going to take a running leap off the altar and smash through the window. <laughs> Fucking Whoa. yes. Do it. Okay, Vol off raging? the altar. I will rage. Okay, you have advantage. Give me an athletics check. A volta, if you will. Huh. Anyone? Will anyone do that? Yes. <laughs> 21. <laughs> Fucking Ayla just takes a running leap, leaps off the altar. I don't even, like, you, you throw the hammer in front of you, smashes through the window. It's about a 10-foot drop. Make an acrobatics check for me, just to see if you're going to take a bit of damage on the way down. Bit, no, no not acrobatics. Not this is just to see if you can um, reduce the damage. 1, 12, 8, 14. You can take three bludgeoning, half to one. So you hit the ground in like a tumble and grab your hammer, which is now on the grass. It's midnight, it's pitch black outside, but you're an elf, so you're fine. Um, and you are now outside the back of the, the abbey itself. Is it midnight? Yeah, you we went, went when it was morning. dark. I think we went in, we went in the morning. morning. Did you go in the morning? Yeah, we yeah. I thought you said you guys waited till midnight. I'm pretty sure when I went through the episode, you said that you were gonna wait till night. Oh, I thought we went in the morning. We'll check that. It's either night or it's afternoon. Or it's <laughs> one of the two. In which case, okay. it's going to be really awkward. Yeah. Um, okay. But yeah, Ayla just lands on the other side. It's really it's dark. It's not incredible, like, leaps, like, you know, five feet in the air, smashes through the glass. In fact, actually, I'm going to say you take two, like, four half to two slashing damage from the glass as you smash through it. Um, but you land on the outside, pff, grab your hammer, you're out. You're out. She's gone. Well, none of, you could, none of you could smash it, so um, I tried to 
No, no, no. Are we covered in shards of stain? Not enough to damage. Okay. I'm dead. She would have gone <laughs> outwards anyway. Sentry! Pick up Nova, let's go! Yep. <laughs> can I try and... Jump? Can I try and... Six. Is there anyone immediately outside when I get outside? Make a perception check. Oh, uh, 13? Also, we need to find 13. Bella. You can see them coming. It looks like there's, they're far away at the moment. They're on like the far edges, but it looks like they have been positioned outside in case you try to climb down from the outside. Not many, like about, you can probably see like two on each side, but there are, there are guards outside. I think they need to make a perception check to see if they hear the smashing glass. Sure. <laughs> it's very quiet, stained glass window smashing. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, Lucy. Eight. You go to jump and you just hit the top and like you have to, it's going to be too sharp. You kind of like, uh, and you just slide down. You're still inside the building with an eight. It's not enough to jump up. Jump up and out. Can I... At the end of my, can I? I, I want to like Technically throw. It's not your go, no, I know, but when I get, <laughs> it happens so fast. Um, is there anything I can do to assist, like throw a rope over, into the? It would have been an action for you to do that. Well, I'll do that next time. You can do that next time for sure. Yeah, anything like complicated, like throwing a rope over or something, would be an action. Also, okay. I'm guessing you have a rope, but just check. Mike, um, check your mic, please. Apparently, it's all our mics. Oh, it's all about. Oh, mics. great. Oh, well, cool. what can we do? Can I... That's a. Uh... I mean, I've, I've, I've not touched it, but no, sure. I think it's all of us. So. I'm not taking okay. mine off. Apparently, Steve, it's all about mics. So, um. <clears throat> so that was Lucius's Nova. Well, what does that count as? I mean, that's move. So you got an action. Uh, I will blade ward myself. Okay. Yeah. And Nova. dunk behind the altar. Death saving throw. Did Sentry not heal? No, 16. 16, success. Quill. Mm, um, I, uh, I don't really know. I'm gonna attempt to cast level two spell. Uh, it's gonna be hold person on this boy, the big boy, the big broadsword boy. Sure. Give me a um, constitution saving throw. So con save, 19. 19, and then what's the DC? Um, the DC is wisdom 13. It's frozen in place. Oh, he stopped. Okay, he's done. Right. It's concentration, whole person, and he gets to make a saving throw at the end of his turn. That's fine. It stopped him for this turn, at least. He's uh, a scary one. It's his go and the other two, so I'll roll for him now. Seven, still paralyzed for the time being. Could I also bonus action my shield as well? Sure. Yeah. These two will step in, step over Nova's body, gang up on sentry, light flame, flame lit swords. That's an 18 to hit sentry. Uh, 18 hits. Second attack from the same person, 21. Hits again. The next paladin will also attack. That's a six, that's a miss. And then a 12, that's a miss. But the first guy hits you twice. Um, that's gonna be six, eight points of damage. Mm -hmm. And then the second attack is 12 points of damage. Yeah, that's down. 20. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Fuck. These two have been dealt with. One got away, deal with the others. Um, the two militants turn to this guy, and I'll start advancing, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Can somebody move those 30 more feet towards Lucius and Quill, please? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. They're yeah, they're just, they're surrounding us. We're surrounded. Okay. Uh, that's their go, though. So we go to Sentry, death saving through, please. This is brutal. 19. 19, success. Uh, what's that? Injury, oh, injury check injury as well. Check, yep. Well, let's make that the injury check and now make your uh, death saving throw. Okay. Three, it's so failure. failure. Uh, Ayla. Good thing that wasn't the injury. <laughs> Can I try and climb up and pull someone out? Sure, yeah, athletics check. Yeah, it's harder because now it's like 10 foot of pure haven't. stone. You don't have the altar to boost off, but you're pretty fucking strong and you can just be like, Twenty. Twenty. Yeah, it's enough. You pull yourself up to the edge of the roof. You can see these guards advancing on Lucius and Quill. You throw your hand down. You can pull. You can drag one of them up. Um, Quill can't move very well, mm -hmm. so I'll pull Quill out. Yeah. Oh. Side on it. So you pull Quill out. So Quill, you like 
see Kit, like you see Ayla. Now it's. I don't know what to do. Yeah, no. You literally can choose to take, like, she's offering you the hand, but it's up to you if you want to take it. So Somebody I'm, take her hand. Yeah. If I don't, would she then pull Lucius? I mean, I can't, I, I I'm just, I can I, I just offer it? it? Right now, she's offering it, I'm and it's, it, we'll, we Somebody. can go to initiative, because it would be Lucius's go first. Birds, you need to get them up. Get them up? Sentry Nova. Can you heal him? I've, I've got no energy left, but you have to leave. I can't run even if I do get outside. All right, that's, you, yeah, that's the, pretty much your conversation. <laughs> Lucius, what do you do? Oh. Am I going to be attacked if I get pulled out? No. It's a force movement if you take it. Okay, I'll, I'll get pulled out. Okay, I'll go for it. Yeah. So, Can I uh, pull him out? So you, you basically had a readied action to pull him up once they took the hand. Is that my full action then? Yeah. yeah basically, yeah. Sentry That's a lot to do in six seconds. You climb up, okay. you reach down, then you pull one. We need to up. go back for them. We, we can't leave them. Okay, that's Lucius's go. You get pulled out. You can. Do you want to make a perception check for me to see if you see these other guards? Yeah. What? Seventeen plus like two. So you can see about. I mean, they are like a hundred feet away from you, but on either side of the abbey, there are two armored folks basically converging on you and Ayla. They're like running towards you. There's maybe about 40 feet before you hit the wall and then you can try and climb up over the wall. Um, that would lead you on the far edge of the city. Uh, Quill, uh, Nova first death saving throw for me, please. 17. 17, success. Quill. Put my hand up. You surrender? I'm surrendering. <laughs> okay, so if you surrender these two. I can't get past them. I these can't two basically these grab you and with the pain in your side, they knock you unconscious. <sighs> you're stable, you're at zero. Okay. But they just, they don't, they're not kill, they're not doing killing blow damage. They basically knock you unconscious. One of them, the last thing you feel is this horrid pain as he wrenches your arm up behind your broken ribs and you just pass out from the pain. God, okay. Um, just okay. unconscious then. After that, so that the, the paralysis goes, seeing that the other two have escaped, one of these paladins runs off. The other one will, uh, we'll say the one closest to the door, he runs off. One of them will lean down and I'm going to make a D100 check to see how much of an asshole this guy is and whether he'd leave you guys to bleed out or if he'd stabilize you to take you prisoner. And I'm going to give it a 50-50 either way. 28. Okay. So he will lean down and he will try and stabilize Nova. 15. Stabilizes okay. you. You're at zero. So You're at zero. You're okay. not on one. You're not conscious. You're just so stable. He's basically I... like, uh, just put yourself at zero hit points. Yeah, just and you're just unconscious. I'm the same, aren't I? Uh, yes, okay. you're at zero hit points and you're both unconscious. Like that? Yep. Okay. Um, and he yeah, pulls out like pieces, he probably tears up your own clothing to like wrap your, like bind your wounds and stop the bleeding. Um, at that point. But two... I'm unconscious. Yes. Okay. You're stable, you're zero. Uh, the two militants yeah. are going to try and climb up the same way that Thingy went, but they're struggling. They can't get the purchase to climb up out the window. So they just begin shouting. Um, Sentry death saving through. Am I still up at the top? Though? Two. No. So you I'm... could be, but I would imagine that. You, in fact, actually, no. Because I would say I that you reach probably... down, hold Lucius up, but like pulling him up, you would probably have to drop back down to get him down, right. and then you could climb back up and, and try and offer a, and do it again if you wanted to. What'd you get? Two. Death saving. That's two failures. Um, oh, shit. Uh, Ayla, your turn. Can I s climb back up and see? Sure. Athletics check. What's? I'll keep. I'll say that whilst you've not taken damage, I'm going to keep the rage going because you know how bad of a situation it is. Fifteen. That's enough. Yeah. You climb back up. You look up. You see them like Quill, unconscious, being like bound. One of them looks up. He's like, "Hey!" And he's like, you know, looks like he's ready to attack you. You glance over. You see one of the paladins kneeling over Nova, but you don't quite see what he's doing. Um, that's what you see. What do you do? Did I hear Quill say that he surrendered? Yeah. He's right next to the window. You would have heard, like, I give up. Oh, I mean, what would you say? What would Quill have said? Truce? <laughs> and then, whack! <laughs> Not truce. Let my friends live and we'll come with you. Okay. All of us. So is that what you say? Make a persuasion check. Natural one. So, this paladin, who's moved up at this point, points up. He's like, do you honestly think that you can get away? 
There are more guards outside. Perhaps if you surrender, we may let you live. Drop down in here now. Give yourself up. I'll drop down. Okay. You drop down. Okay. You drop down. Um, do you resist? No. Okay. So at the top of the round, Lucius, you are now the one outside on your own. And you can see these four guys running on either side of you, running towards you. I Night Frost that. is freaking out. He's not quite screaming, but it's just this soft, like, constant, like, no, no, cannot be captured, must not be captured. We must leave. Please hurry. Do not want more death, death, death. And he's just, like, muttering in your mind. Like, he is... I'm going to point... Probably at this point, you, his abilities probably aren't going to work unless you calm him down somehow. I've used everything anyway. Yeah. So what do you want to do? <laughs> I'm sorry, no, uh, Night Frost, I'm, I'm so sorry. I give up! So I fall just, on my knees. You, you just surrender as well, hands yeah. up? Okay. Well, I just fall into like a embryonic state. <laughs> okay. The uh, yeah, these guys come up, four of them, and they beat you until you're unconscious. Put you at zero. That's uh, 17 hit points of beating. They just kick, like punch, kick, tie your hands behind your back. Like, they don't want you conscious. The most important one, is if this guy stabilizes Sentry before she has to make another death saving throw. He does not. That was a two. Oh. Make a death saving throw for me, Sentry, please. Nine. Oh, no, that's... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, fuck! <sighs> so, um, at this point, Ayla, you are bound. You are not knocked unconscious, uh, kind of sensing that they don't want to piss you off even more. Um, but they bind you, and you are taken prisoner. Um, Sentry, there are flickering moments where, as you feel your consciousness begin to drift, there is a vision, final vision. A golden guardian appears before you, and you feel your, almost like an orb of yourself leave your physical body, and the guardian looks at you, I'm so sorry, Sentry. We needed you to find the Prime. We can't help. And your form just becomes silent. And you feel your orb drop back into your body and your body becomes inert. Now you can still be resurrected. You're not gone forever. If the party can get you, they can resurrect you. Um, but because you are a guardian, there's no necessarily afterlife for you to go to. They just kind of shut down in your form for now. But they can, you can be resurrected. Um, with that, uh, those of you who are taken prisoner, um, if you want to go to the bathroom and stuff, sweetheart, you need can do. So, oh, take um, a moment. Yeah, if you need to. Um, that's absolutely fine. The rest of you are taken prisoner. It doesn't take long before a dragonborn and a dwarf appear, maybe a few moments. So Ayla, you're the only one who's kind of conscious when this happens. Um, I feel, I, I, I'm just gonna carry on with the game, but I don't want to. to like, I'm on. like, I've gotta carry on, yeah. I feel so bad. But um, Ayla, you're the only one conscious. The dwarf and the dragonborn appear. They look over them. The paladin mentions like, the guardian's gone. It doesn't seem to be active anymore. And the dragonborn like nods and the dwarf kind of like, yeah. all right, let's take, uh, hang on, he's sullen. Right. Let's take him below. The abbotess will want to give them a front row seat of what's to happen. The dragonborn kind of, there is a one, a little thief. My God, we're supposed to watch her, but she seems to have escaped. She's somewhere in the grounds. We'll find her. She can't be that far. And they go over to the altar, and the two of them unlock it. The altar slides back, and you are all taken, carried, down into dark, pitch-black tunnels. A single torch illuminates the way as this dragonborn and dwarf lead you down. You are placed in a crudely made holding cell. What was once a natural cavern has had iron bars installed to function as a prison. There are four of them in total. Two of them are occupied. You can see two uh, bound elderlyish figures, a half elf and a human woman. And in the other one, 
you see a wild elf uh, with red markings uh, in the shape of a sun on her forehead, uh, pale skin, blonde hair, beaten badly, ragged, scarred, um, but still vicious and fighting. Like when the guards come in, she spits at them, curses in, the, in elvish, um, and then looks at the rest of you and she kind of clocks eyes with you, Ayla, uh, the only conscious one. Um, you have your hands bound in chains behind your back. The rest of them are bound with ropes. And you're put inside and you are left there. Um, at this point, you guys can all take a short rest. You are okay. unconscious. You can spend hit dice and you will become un you will basically come conscious in about three to four hours, I'm going to say. It's normally about an hour, but most of you are beaten pretty bad. Yep. Cool. Yeah, I'll take it. still broken, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. Um, they're not sprained, they're like fully broken. Mate. How you doing? I tried my best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. Sorry, mate. No, it's that not was the, the worst yeah. fucking luck. It's I can't not. believe I rolled a two on that medicine yeah. check. Ugh. Um, it's the nature of the game. Yeah. 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 Uh, you okay? I'm good. Yeah. yeah. It's You're just right. you gotta take a moment, yeah. Yeah. We haven't figured it out yet. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> oh, no. Um, okay, okay, I'm at full HP. Okay. Uh, that's all my hit dice gone, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, and short rest doesn't give me spell slots or anything, does it? No. Uh, Nova gets hers back. Um, I should also point out, FYI, if it's not clear, your equipment is taken. Your yeah, weapons, like that any was... kind of spell casting focuses are taken from you as well. Oh, so you just can't cast? Yeah. And uh, I... any, yeah. Any, any arcane focus, like anything you need components in that for, is taken from you. Um, you wake up and there's a few minutes before anything else happens, because uh, I just want to keep an eye on the time. Um, and you hear a voice kind of speak to you from across the bars. Um, a woman, uh, a human woman. Uh, dark black clothes, uh, the symbol of a lantern with a single star. Uh, you can see the half-elf man behind her is unwell. His hands have been bound with manacles behind his back. Um, he looks very malnourished. And the woman kind of weakly is just like, are you, are you all all right? There's nothing I can really do to help, but it's been a while since we've seen anyone else. Who are you? Uh. Well, we were meant to be your rescue team. Thank you so much for coming to try and help us, but I'm afraid that Aurelia's treachery is well, it's beyond anything that any of us could have expected. It's gone really, really bad, really bad. We, we've slain a few of them, but they captured us. I don't even know where Centrum and Valor, our other two party members, have gone. I didn't bring them with you, I'm afraid. And... I'm the only one who knows about Sentry, aren't I? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Um, she reaches over like, I'm Restkeeper Jasna, a priestess of Kalara. Uh, I'm so sorry. Um, and then you just hear her kind of like, fucking Ershbringers, fuck them. And this kind of ragged elven woman is kind of looking over and you can see she's dirty and beaten and scarred, but she's still like steely gaze. And she kind of looks around like, once I get out of here, I'm going to burn them all to ash. I'll show them what the real fire is. Why did they bring you two down here? Are you talk who are you talking to? Uh, well, Jasna yeah. and the priest. She looks over like, Aurelia sent for us to come and mourn Abbot Grayson's passing. They threatened some of our flock and I, I didn't want to put the acolytes at risk, so I came. Um, Elanis, he did the same. As soon as we arrived, they pretty much knocked us out and brought us down here. Aurelia's mad. She's spoken to us about some sort of cleansing, said that we're heretics, foreigners that are corrupting Savona with our faith. I mean, she's supposed to worship Palador. He's a son of Siaska, and she has Elanus beaten and tied up so he can't use his magic. This, she's insane. She has lost all purpose of reason. I, I don't know what's happened. I'm not much of a spellcaster myself. I have a few rituals to preserve the dead, but nothing to fight back with. I've just been trying to look after him. And she kind of points over to 
uh, Lannis, who's elderly. He's kind of like in his 60s, 70s, and he doesn't look very well. Um, Sentry's... Um, Sentry didn't make it. Well, she's held captive elsewhere. Sentry's dead. No, she's not dead. Sentry, they she's checked. strong. She's really they checked. Strong. What did you see? Did her light go out? No, she's not dead. She can't be. She's powered down. Pa powered down, that's fine, right? She probably just went into a, you know, what she does when she... I mean, Lucius has magical powers. He, he could yes, just connect yeah. with yeah. the... bring her back. Well, who's to say? They couldn't stabilise her. Because they don't know. We could... We saw what Breeze did. We know what heals Sentry. We know that our, our spells, our healing potions heal Sentry. They couldn't use that on her. Night Frost, you, are you there? You... Yeah, yes, Master Lucia. Could you please go? Oh, no, he, you can hear him. He's like, I am not with you, but far, uh, somewhere below. He's not with you. All your equipment's gone. You have, like, your clothes. Can you escape? Uh, no, I, I, not when I'm so far from you. I, I can't just choose to take a new form. I'm, I'm, I'm still the cloak that you had me take before. Sentry if you get closer, perhaps I can transform, but not on my own. We are shackled, but we are held captive. Bella's I'm sorry. in the ground somewhere. Did she escape? They're looking for her. Can you try and but reach out to Bella? Them. I can try, Master Lucius. But beyond a range, I can only speak with you. I, I cannot hear the others. I'm too far. I'm can you deep reach below. out to Sentry? I cannot hear her. It's all in your head. None of you can hear Night Frost, it's only Lucius. So it's I know too where far away. Sentry. No. The last you saw, they just left her body in the church. Was her body intact? At this point, um, you don't really know what time it is. You, Ayla, you're aware that they've been out for maybe like four or five hours. Um, maybe longer. It's hard to tell. Uh, it count? That's still short rest, right? Yeah. It wouldn't count as a long rest for me. Been... No, short rest, but not long rest. Um, there is a, uh, you hear armoured footsteps kind of coming, and then you just hear like the wild elf like, <laughs> here they come again, fucking assholes. What do they Something about their do? purging. Why have they got you here? Me? I've heard about you. I've heard about you from an orc that I met. I don't know, no, I do not know an orc. As for why I'm here, the worst fucking luck in the world. And she kind of like reaches up and tucks like a bit of a golden, dirty blonde hair behind her ear. I came here trying to learn something about Palador. Talk about picking the wrong fucking church, huh? She kind of like laughs like bitterly. Um, you control fire, is that right? She like looks at you. Yes, how do you know? Because I'm searching for some answers. I have a similar thing, but lightning, storm powers. She like looks for a moment, very confused, um, and then kind of looks up at you, in fact. Uh, fuck it. Like, did I even print those notes? Didn't, shit. Uh, what's the name of your original clan? I know, I wrote Red it down. The, 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 no. Which one? The the, one your clan clan. Oh, the Dalachnai. The Dalachnai. She goes like, you're with the Dalachnai. I don't, I don't know where the clan are. That's, that's, they're Part not. Of the Laird of Land? They're gone, but that's what they are. The ones that could control lightning. The stories, I, uh, she's, she's not Scottish. She's got more of a Norse, Finnish accent. The ones I was told about, the, the stories, they were of the Dalek Nike, uh, the control the storm. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's okay. Yeah, it's just going to have to try. Um, as she's chatting, the armoured footsteps eventually become armoured figures, yeah. these paladins. Come. It's time. Time for? For your sins to be burned away. Uh... And the bar, the iron bars are opened, and they come in armed. They pick, try and pick you up unless there's any resistances. I mean, I couldn't resist even if the, I wanted The wild <laughs> elf is, like, struggling, but they kind of cuff her around the head. Um, they grab the two priests and you are all led down these tunnels. You are led for what feels like a long time, going deep beneath the earth. 
um, as you are brought into a large cavern, and larger than what you expected to be down here. And as you emerge in the cavern, there is this glow orange light of flame, and you see stone stairs leading down deeper into the earth, braziers lit at certain points. They eventually come to rest on a large stone platform, about 30 by 40 feet. And at the very far end of this cavern, at the bottom of these long steps, on this long platform, is a stone arch inscribed with runes. Okay. About 20 feet tall, 10 feet wide. In front of it, a stone dais with plates of runes. Quill, you hear okay. tiny footsteps in the darkness far behind you, oh behind these armored figures. And you can just hear, and you glance back with your one eye, and you see the shape of two daggers glinting oh my in the light. Oh my god, okay. Okay. Uh, creeping along, and then they disappear. Uh, you are, yes. Yes. Nova can't you cast, because didn't we say that I can cantrips, cantrips? Cantrips, but even then your hands have to be free. Right now they're bound behind your back. Okay. You can't cast, um, you have to do blah, 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 this um, while they're bound. I guess but Nova, me. you recognize this gate. Oh. You recognize these gates. You've seen ancient drawings of these in Vortensar. These are the archways. Oh! These were once used by the elves and Ganassi to try and subvert Siaska's ban on planar magic to travel to other worlds. Oh, and uh, they think... And these were, from these came monsters and demons and all sorts of bad news. And okay. Nova, this is your specialty. Planar magic is your thing and you would know what these are. You've never seen one. You don't know how they work because all knowledge of them was banned and burned. But you recognize it. I have that one book. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't tell you how they work. But it, it's in, like even it even fun. knowing what they are and what they look like is pretty bad. Like it's no, most people aren't allowed to know it. So on a scale of one to ten, mm -hmm. how panicked am I? Pretty panicked because yeah. from what you remember, most of the archways. Now there's a glimmer of hope because most of the archways connected to homeworlds of demons and devils or monsters or Gith Yankee or undead. But some of them did connect to more peaceful lands. That's where the Tieflings and the Asimar came from. They came from one of these archways. But I'm guessing in correlation with my vision. <laughs> Can we go the other way? You are being prodded and poked down these stairs, and if you try and run, they grab you. No, and... can we go into it? Potentially. Okay. You're brought down, and you can see that this archway is humming with a golden light. And there are shapes. You can see a landscape beyond it and flying figures, winged flying figures, all flying behind it. And in front of it, you see Abates Aurelia and three robed warlocks um, chanting and, and, you know, tapping their staffs. And Aurelia is stood in front of this stone dais. Uh, you are all brought forward and sat in front of the portal. Your gear, you actually glance over and is nearby. Hmm. You can That's see like a sack of your good. gear. But Aurelia is holding Night Frost. What? That's bad. She looks over. Ah, our intruders have arrived. You will be the first to be cleansed by the champion of Palador when he arrives. But this, and she holds Night Frost. Such heathens, even I would not expected you to carry a tool of the enemy. This reeks of foul magic. It reeks of the enemy of all life on Eroes. This must be destroyed. And she moves over and places it right in front of the portal's light. And then she moves back to the dais. Can I talk to Night Frost? Yeah, sure. Night Frost. Master Lucius. You are in control of yourself. You are more powerful than you think you are. If there's anything you can do to escape, do it now. He 
thinks. There is nothing I can do to escape, Master Lucius. But uh, there is something. And he briefly flickers for a moment. There is a pulse of power. Uh, and I think you kind of all kind of get this sense. Um, and Aurelia kind of seems taken back as he begins to pulse with this power. And Night Frost, its ends become sharper. It begins twisting, curving in on of itself. And this unearthly howl begins to erupt through the cavern. And Aurelia, in a panic, slams the gemstone at the center of this dais. Right. The portal <laughs> erupts and you watch as Night Frost is broken in half and the energy <laughs> evaporates. And then you see what is behind the portal. Lakes of fire, volcanoes, ash, ground, black as night and legions and legions of demons and devils lined up in battle formations. And then emerging from the portal, now opened, the ritual complete, you see a man, pure bronze skin, tall, curved horns, with a crown of fire and fiery wings extending behind him. He moves forward and Aurelia just debases herself. She just gets on her knees and opens her arms. Whoa. And the voice doesn't come from the being, but from the portal itself. Well, it appears here. My puppet has been quite successful. And Aurelia looks up like, you, you are not, you are not him. And he raises his hand and bronze chains burst from the ground and wrap around Aurelia. Yep. I am not. <laughs> My dear little abbotess, you have done much, although I am impressed, and he looks over those of you alive, that your plans were nearly brought down by these. Still, nothing matters now. You have accomplished the goal. It is a shame that this portal is not large enough for my true form to emerge, but it will be enough for my legions to begin my work. <laughs> She's like, no, no, this isn't, this isn't what I, this isn't what I meant to do. You're, you are meant to purge away sins, not bring more. <laughs> sins. And he grips and she begins, to, he's like, my dear, the second that you began killing innocents, your God turned away from you. I'm the one that's been giving you all this power. You've been mine for a long time now. And she is just dragged along the floor into the portal screaming. Oh, my God. And then the figure turns on you. Quill, mm -hmm. you see uh, a hunch figure. And all of the robed figures, by the way, are being pulled into the portal by deviled hands. They come up, grab, oh the, okay. grab the cultists, throw them into the portal slowly one by one being taken out. And you see, I'm gonna make a section. This little tiny figure get to the dais and she looks over towards you and you can see Valor is hiding, like tucked behind this dais, trying desperately to avoid the attention of this powerful being. And she looks at you and she looks at Ayla and she looks at Lucius and she looks at Nova and she just like, like. Would I mean, is she visible for all of us? I'd say, like, you can kind of, like, you know, give a hint. Nova yeah. speaks Draconic, Elvish, and Primordial. Yeah, do you want to try talking in any of those? Oh. To who? What are you doing? No, because Primordial wouldn't work, would it? I'm just wondering, could she read, like, if there's anything on the dais? Would you speak again? Common, Draconic, Elvish, and Primordial. You don't. These were in... No. Oh, I have eyes of the Runekeeper! You read all written languages. <laughs> <laughs> so the dais, you can brave bathe to see. It's it's not it's not very helpful, unfortunately. It is celestial and it's it's a it's a number pad. It's it's like you know one two three four, but you know more uh, less What's obvious. Stargate? It's like you know like omega, alpha, beta thing. Yeah. It's very Stargate esque. Oh, 
lights. And did the abbot, she just hit the middle? She, yeah. no, you could see that there were several runes already glowing, and then she hit the central one, and this portal is now That's opened. That's cool. Um, but Valor is looking at it, and she kind of, like, does this, points at herself, and then points at the dais. I, I feel at this point Lucius is inconsolable. Yeah. From both Sentry and, and Night Frost. Night Frost so so he done. doesn't even notice that Valor's okay. there. Just... Um, the figure, the bronze figure, so good luck. turns to you. I am Carolus, the Ashbringer. I have long dreamed of visiting this world. I have heard much about it. And thanks to my little puppet, now my legions can enter. But you, you and your, oh, I'm sad to say, departed friend, you are impressive. You came so far, only to fall, and now you are at my mercy. I so enjoy mortals in this position. Tell me, are you ready to die? Um... Hi. Hello, little one. Um... I kind of like do a weird bow, yeah, like really like, nervous, like, <laughs> like, you know, trying to be respectful yeah. and stuff. Yeah, he actually is, he's like, very good, you know your place. Um, I was just wondering if you're the kind that makes deals or the kind that just does what they want. Oh, how very clever. I love to make deals with mortals, especially ones who don't have much of a choice. I am soon to bring my legions through. They will kill everything in this region. No doubt your little armies will come to stop them. But by that time, my other agents would have gone to where they need to go. But of course, you could be, well, fodder for my legions. Do you have something in mind, little mortals? I certainly do, but I'd love to hear your ideas first. Um, and you can see Valor just waiting, like waiting for some sort of signal. Two questions. Yeah. Could you resurrect a guardian? Perhaps. It'll be extra fodder at least. Hmm. Oh, I have no means to do that. If they're already dead, I will not bring them back to life. But why? What are you offering me, little one? What would you like? Oh. You seem to know more than most, sir. I do, I do. Thinks for a minute. Valor's just waiting, like looking at you guys for some sort of confirmation on. I'm gonna look she at just, Nova. She does this at herself, at the dais again, but she can't verbally communicate with you at this yeah. point. Uh, what is he? Like celestial, is he? I mean, you can make a religion fae. check, but I mean, yeah. you don't have to roll very high. He's not I mean, fae and he's not a celestial. He's a demon or he's a devil. A, he's a fiend. Uh, so fiends in this, demons and devils are kind of like two sides of the same coin in Eroes. They're all fiends. I just wanted to make sure it fell out. He is that. a fiend. Yeah. And this is not his form. This is some sort of vessel that he's a physically, it's a creature here. But it is, he's using it to communicate with you because the voice is coming from the portal. Maybe, Quill, you can see behind these legions is a 30-foot-tall, bronze-skinned, chains wrapped around their arms, halo of fire wings being, and it radiates power. Yeah, it can't fit. <laughs> it's fine. He did say he could He did fit, say. But his legions could. Yeah. Um, can I start to come around a little yeah, bit? Yeah, sure, yeah. It's up to you. It's for your decision. Yeah, um... <clears throat> what would you want? You know everything, so... He looks around. I already have what I want here. But there is something you can do. How about I make you this offer? You will be... I will make sure you do not die here. And I will even protect you from my legions for a year. For a year. In exchange... You will each give me a piece of your soul as collateral and a task to be completed. You will escort my daughter to the seven sky cities of your world. 
where she will learn of sin and death and wrath and destruction. If my daughter comes to permanent harm or death, I will take your souls in exchange. But what's your daughter's name? Uh, you will find out if you agree. I'll let her do the introductions. And would you resurrect our guardian, sir? Oh, that will take an extra price. Okay. What do you offer? I should point out that the currency of my realm is souls. Um. At this point, yeah. Do you guys want to do anything? I like will offer my soul. Why, my, a little brave one we have here. Your soul in exchange for bringing your guardian friend I to have life. One request for this soul. Bold, but yes. not unwelcome. You may state your request and I will consider it. I wish to see our friend Sentry alive before I give up my soul. Hmm. Things for a minute. Give me a persuasion check. In the meantime, would we know what it would mean to like give give parts of our souls, give our souls? No. Like we don't know. <laughs> nope. No, I didn't read no, that. You're like, what the fuck? I didn't take that religious module. I mean, even then, like, what you, do you what even have soul? them? Yeah. What is a soul? Is it a real thing? Yeah. Don't know. What it is to him? Eight. It's to him. Eight. Mm. No, you will have to trust my eminence. But rest assured, I am not some ravenous killing beast. My contracts are bound not only in word, but in magic. If I say I will return your friend, I will return them. Did Vala look like she knew what the code was when she was doing that? There is a strange look of confidence. Mm. <laughs> and I guess the runes aren't lit up anymore. Like No. No. Do you want to do something? It's like she's just waiting for like a signal. Cast your resurrection. No. Um, before and he just <laughs> stares at you like I am in I am in power here. You have nothing to bargain with me. This I have is made the bargain. I'm making the deal. The bargain is your soul <laughs> for your returned friend. Parts of each of your souls for your survival and the completion of my task. What? I am Charitas. I have Charitas. I have no need to bargain with you mortals. You are at my whims. I am entertaining this thought because it amuses me. What happens after a year? Then my legions will be fair game. I suspect to suggest that you make yourself scarce before that year ends. I'm guessing. Although perhaps if you earn my daughter's favor, little bird. We may consider it. Mm. Although what you she has for some flightless chicken, I'm not sure. Oh, oh dear. Right. Um, <laughs> excuse me, sir. I'm guessing oh, you're in for the whole world domination thing, right? <laughs> you think so small. Okay, universal domination. That is more like. I have a rival, one that I wish to see brought to his knees. Oh, is that Starvane? Callous, please. Do not give him the credit of this ridiculous moniker. Oh, sorry, sir. And you're keeping him talking, but can I right now. Close my eyes. Yes. Knowing there's nothing I can do. Yeah. Single tears roll down the cheeks, and yeah. I wake up, look at Valor. Yeah. And just nod. Okay, okay. Ooh! You watch as Valor springs up, the figure kind of turns. She very purposely is like, this, 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 this. And then she looks, and then she goes, she just says, I'm sorry, I don't know what this will do. And then she poosh, hits the button. The portal, this figure, this chariot is just like, no! And he's sucked into the portal. <laughs> oh. And then the portal changes. Oh no. And where once there was this fiery landscape, there is now a dark corridor lit with purple lights. Oh. Oh, and you okay. see beyond it a field of stars no, and planets. No, no, oh, no, and no. at the far end of it, Ooh. there is a throne of uh -oh. black crystal. Uh -oh. Oh, good. And sat upon it uh -oh. in a suit of armor that oh. you have never seen before oh, God. is a human with long black hair. <laughs> he looks <Hi>, up. <laughs> he looks perturbed. He stands up and his cape begins just unfolding like oh nanites God. from his back. And he strides forward. 
through the portal. And oh. you feel this oh, wave of yeah. you oh, feel this is. wave <laughs> of power. He looks down and Valor looks up at him and she has these two knives and she's kind of stood in front of you like and he looks down. Valor. Oh god. My daughter. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he looks down. He's like, I cannot. I thought you were lost. And she looks up like, who? No, you can't. You can't be here. Who? What? What? And he looks down and he's like, he kind of comes close and he's like, please, you do not be, need to be afraid of me. I would never hurt you. And he kind of like lowers himself down. He's ignoring you. That's good. And he just looks and he's That's like, good. I thought you lost when Siaskia died. You were on another ship in, in stasis. I brought you with me. I hoped that oh, it's so good to see you. And she's just like, I, I don't know who you are. You're, you're him, you're callous. The church told me. He's like, please, please, my daughter, do not believe what they have told you. I'm so grateful you are here. And he looks and he finally seems to notice you. He's like, how did you bring me here? This, he looks at the archways. Who are these people? Why, why are you here? Can I shuffle over to my stuff? You are tied up. Like, you are like tied up, hands and feet. You can like worm your way over. If you want to try and like get on your side and start wriggling over towards your can stuff. Can I get out of me? Out. Yeah, sure you can. Can I get yeah. out of my body? Can yeah, I get now out that the, like, I mean, if you want to try, yeah, are there absolutely. Anyone, is there any more guards left? Like they were all dragged in by the demon, and then through. you had the demon in front of you. Okay, so, yeah, can I try and... Sure, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Uh, I'm yeah, gonna, sure, like make uh, a, 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 a athletics or acrobatics checks. I'm just going to try and stand up. <laughs> yeah, uh, just say three. Uh, five. <laughs> Paralyzed by fear. Nine. Nine. Five. Five. What Nine. is happening? Nineteen. Nineteen. <laughs> Nineteen. Do I stand up? You stand what up. So Quill, <laughs> and you kind of feel like this... The pain eases for a moment and you kind of feel this pair of wings kind of extending behind you and like you can feel this presence of Hesper filling you and you get the sense like he's distant but it's it's just like be wary. Is uh, is the wild elf still in the room as well? Yeah. Yeah. And you can see the other two priests. Oh, the other two. Oh my are god. Just white. They're just like <laughs> They're I just know this terrified. Dude. But the wild elf is just confused. She doesn't seem to really understand what's going on. Vela. He glances over. Who are these? Who are these people, Vala? Are they the ones that brought you here? I, he like, and he seems genuinely concerned. She's like, no, 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 they saved me. They, 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 they saved my life when people tried to, to take me. Where they, they saved me when, when Corin and Yusuf died. And she starts, you know, breaking oh. down. And he's like, no, no, no. They saved you. This is good, this is good. There's so much I need to tell you. You you are my daughter. You were born from magic, a, a special ritual that Siaska taught me so that but I could create my own children in the way that she had. What? You are special, what? Valor. You are, you are beyond a mortal. You are like me. You are destined for greatness. That's why she's so OP. Siaska. Come with me. There is so much I can show you, teach you, and now you have opened the way I can find a way to finally finish what I started. Please. She kind of looks around. Are you going to hurt them? Not if I have, not if I don't have to. Not if they will not stop me in what I intend to do. Will you come with me? And he offers a hand and she kind of looks around to all of you. We swore to be her guardians. We saved her from others. The Remnant. I know this name. What is your name? You are one of Hesper's children, I assume. Yes, I'm Kilek Adkula. Uh, Kilek Adkula. I need not to tell you who I am. Well, we heard you were coming back. Sooner than expected, it seems. Thanks to my daughter. He smiles at her. Siaska mm. taught you a ritual? There is so much you don't know about your gods and goddesses. Siaska and I, we were meant to protect the world together. 
save it from a doom that none can understand but us. I loved her, she loved me. She taught me this ritual so that I could have a child. I think she expected it to change me, to make me a better man as she saw, but she should have known that protecting everything is, it's, it's the only thing that needs to be done. You have saved Vala's life. I take her word at this and yours. And for that, I owe you much. So I will not endanger you further. And I will see you freed from this place if that is what Vala wishes. But you cannot remain here. There is something I need to do. And if you stay, I fear that you will try and interfere with my plans. Um, excuse me, sir? Um. Ganassi. Hi. Uh, my name's Nova Vidra. Um, we lost one of our party members trying to defend Vala Sentry. Do you have the power? She's a guardian. I know it's a lot to ask, sir, but do you have the power to bring her back? I do. Looks to Vala. I was like, please, please, if you are my father, please. Save them, save Sentry, and I'll do anything. I'll come with you, whatever you want. Valor, no. And she's like, no, Lucius. Everything the church said, if you, if you stand against him, he'll kill you. And he's like, I don't want to do that, but there is a task here I must complete, and I wish my daughter to be by my side when I do it. If that is what you wish, then so be it and he raises a gauntleted fist. I will give you the power to save her, but I cannot do it myself. You will have seven days. This is the best I can offer. He goes to raise his hand. Speak now if you have anything else that you wish of me, because if the next time we meet we are enemies, I will show you no mercy. What is it you intend to do? What I have to. And he closes his fist. Oh my God. And you feel your bodies pulled in some direction. And then you, your equipment. I don't think he would have thought to bring the others with him. It would have just been you because you're the ones that Valor oh. protected. Yeah, they were still in there. You, and you hear the sound of waves and sand beneath your hands. And you can see rocky mountains and green trees. And it does not look like Savona. Oh, do I recognize it? This is Voxar, a continent far from here, far from, That's so far from far. anywhere. And next to you, Sentry's body, <laughs> beside which there is a a, what appears to be a metal cylinder, like a case, inside of which there is a tiny spark of the most brilliant <coughs> light you have ever seen. Nova, this is, this is a fragment of a star, oh. encased in metal, incredible magical power, enough to power a spell to bring somebody back from the dead, if you can find someone to do it. <laughs> I've got seven days. Seven days. And we don't know where we are. I think, yeah, and yeah, you guys find yourself on a beach, tired, exhausted. Um, drained. <laughs> drained. No Valor. No Savona. No Arvel. No Arvel. In a new land. Completely different to anything you expected. And for seven days, no century. <laughs> Enough after seven days. No, no century. No century at all. Oh, God, we are so far away. I know how far away we are. What a plot twist. Oh my God, I can't believe this all happened. <laughs> <laughs> this, this was like bottom of my list. Like, if all this fucking shit happens, this could potentially happen. Like, if Valor survives, Valor manages to find you and, and stealth and not get caught, this can happen. And that's what we got. 
And now we're in debt to Callus Starbeam as well. Well, let's <laughs> debt to Valor. Debt yeah. Valor. Yeah. 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 In, all, in anything, you now owe Valor. She is the one who's gone, I will come with you, I'll do whatever you say, oh, but okay. save them. And with that... Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, we're not ending the episode there. I'm guessing you guys want to take a long rest. <laughs> or, <laughs> I mean, I think... What do you want to do? Are you, all of your equipment is with you. So Callus is not cruel enough to send you off without any of your gear, but Night Frost is gone. Yeah. Oh, Night fuck, Frost is gone. dude. Okay. What about Tiangong? Yeah, okay. He didn't like spoil or anything. That's nope. cool. I like that. You almost get the sense that if you'd had Tiangong more powerful, Callus probably would have recognised what it was. Sweet. I mean, I feel like, yeah, a teleport I mean, he like He probably that. would have taken Night Frost anyway. He might have been like, <laughs> I'm taking this back. <laughs> you guys have got to cut around the seven foot guardian person. <laughs> you can't move me around for a week. Ayla, Ayla can. Love Ayla can. <laughs> yeah. Ten minutes. I got you. <laughs> Ayla can literally be like, Pachang. So are we still on Eroes? You're on Eroes. But, oh. Uh, Quill knows where you piggyback. are. Let's go. You, yeah, are on, you are on the far eastern coast of Voxar, right. which is a completely different... Oh, dude. Do, do I have any like, inkling of closest... I mean, closest thing? <laughs> closest resurrector? They'll, they're, you won't be far from a town. Okay, and I could... You can find one. Point of direction. You also know you're not far from the Valley of Storms. Oh, oh hell. <laughs> oh, hell, here we go. Uh, uh, why, not, oh. why not throw us in there? Can I just say okay, this is... jump! <laughs> I mean, the Valley of Storms, you would have to physically go there. It's more because it's a point of Quill. Like, to Quill, that's the worst place probably on Earth. Oh. On yeah. It's like, it's the most hated place he hates. Uh, this is I too mean, good. You've got to talk to Hesper? Yeah. To be fair, I probably, like, I probably dislike Goliaths more than I dislike Storms at this point. It's too good. <laughs> It's too good. Well, that's so like my has gone Someone from like happy. being inconsolable and is now like, ah, 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 ah. Well, you guys. <laughs> I, like how, like, my you're, I like how you're laughing at me going, ha, you got to carry me now, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> this is the best reaction to having their character die ever. This is, this with is my body. aspire for this. Yeah, aspire don't scratch for me. This. To be fair, earlier she was dead. Yeah. And yeah. now she's There's got the fragment yeah. of a star to at least yeah, come I have chance. hope. Yeah, there's hope. Um, there's, always hope. Gonna there's always That's hope. it, exactly. A new hope. I mean, I'll put it this way. If you had taken that guy's deal... It would have been bad. I don't yeah, know. Like, been so bad. Bad. We wouldn't have done it. It was bad. It was bad. I was trying to It was bad, but it was like, otherwise it's, you're all dead. <laughs> like, yeah. that's yeah. what you were that facing. Was, yeah. I was trying yeah. to con the man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you were trying, I know what you were trying to do. You were trying to get into Resurrect Sentry and then and get Valor to do the thing. Yeah. I could have like turned the Faithless on that dude. Yeah. Been like, yeah. fuck off. Absolutely. The thing Absolutely. is, I was one success throw from stabilizing. But you still would have been but unconscious. I would have been unconscious. So it's it's exact same scenario. Right, yeah. Well, I didn't, I didn't realize the portal was just going to pull him in. I was, I was, if it didn't pull him in, I was going to do the arcane abjuration thing. Yeah. And do basically what you can do. Yeah. Um, yeah. What would that have done? Get that it, thing it, back it, where it came from. Also no, help me. <laughs> it wasn't actually his form. So help me. It was like a rejection. <laughs> oh, so as soon as the form closed, it's like comes back. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, You're like we have to end it here because Carib the. Uh, yeah. I'm an emotional yeah. wreck. Yeah. I mean, we've got we've got donations and stuff to read, but I think that this is. I mean, I'm guessing. So let's just do a couple of things. So you take a long rest. We definitely are you, take are a long you, rest. You, I think you have yeah. to at this point, right? Can we have some XP? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you will get a fuck ton of XP. In oh. fact, at the start of the episode, I should have given you 300 each for the last episode. Okay. okay. So everybody gets 300, and now let me work out how much I mean, you get from this I mean, we met, like, a super bad demon dude, and oh, we're dude. Kalis starving. I don't think You're going to get a ton Kalis of XP. Starving. You're going to get are a ton of XP. It's more I don't combat. Maybe meeting the demon. How, much, like... how far are you away from leveling up uh, with that 300? I do 1,000. I don't think mine's up to date. So we're on 4,500. No, 1,700. We're on 4,800 with the starting 300. Yeah? yeah. So what do you need from that? 1,700. 1,700? You get 1,700 XP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I think that warrants a level. I think uh, fighting your way through an abbey of crazy cult, like an army, like a small mercenary army of zealots, basically bargaining with an archfiend, one of the most powerful beings out there, 
and then meeting callous fucking starving. Fucking hell. <laughs> and not I'd say that warrants it. Yeah, I'd say that warrants some some XP. Uh, I'm like, we, we kind of made a good impression. You you will be the same level as them. I'm not. I don't okay. like it when yeah, when characters so are definitely. levels below other yeah. characters. So okay. you're just hmm? the experience yeah. of death yeah, itself will enlighten you. Wait. <laughs> um, I've seen the void. So a couple what? of cool things. I'm going to talk about this more in my behind the screen. Yes. Valor now what has her own. On Friday. Valor now has her own character screen. sheet. Yeah. Fridays. I'm going to be doing it. It's on my Twitch channel. It's on Sherlock uh, underscore Humes. Yes. I literally will be going over the notes for this session. But we One do session. Ask that, by the way, that's not for us to know. Yes. Yeah. Don't Please tweet don't these tweet guys. Us about yes. Yes. Players that's are banned to know that information. But it's also like. You're only going to ruin it for these guys and for yourselves. And if you try we'll and like give them it, hints yeah. and stuff like that, don't do that. And right? I'll, I'll, you don't give everything I'll away. No, I don't give everything right. away. Like last week, I didn't talk about any of like the plot with the demon and the portal or anything. Yeah. Well, like yeah, that. Geez, so, yeah. Yeah. So, what um, a episode! So yeah, Friday behind the screen. Behind the screen. One thousand seven hundred. One thousand seven hundred. So you'll all be level five. Plus three hundred. And then I think Rhiannon, what we might have to do for you, I think we might have to come up with a temp character. Yeah. Woo -hoo! So That's I think, kind of fun, actually. I yeah. think we're gonna have you know think about if Remember Sentry dies. Yep. Because the other thing is, don't forget, her, her, her these guys have seven days. Yeah. Yep. Yep. She if they don't get it, Sentry is dead permanently. Yep. So yep. make a temp character that you could continue to play. Awesome. If you wanted to. Nice. And then otherwise, if Sentry comes back, you'll put this new character on the shelf, mm -hmm. and then Sentry will continue. Also, don't Sweet. forget, Sentry doesn't have to come back. She can yeah. choose not to. Oh shit. It's only if the soul is willing. I mean, would she want to come back to a world where we all think that Callus might actually be a good guy, bad guy? He's a nice dad. Guy? <laughs> is he oh, he's all right, let's read these donations because we've got a cool message for Steve. Um, we'll rotate these around because I think that it'll be good to do that today. Ola Renve donated, no message, but thank you very much. Nightjar donated, nervous laughter <laughs> with a heart symbol, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Dust Runner donated, catching you live finally, just long enough to finally donate. Thanks very much. Aww. Katie, do you want to read some? Let's spread these out this um, time. We got Frank time. the NPC episode prediction in the episode <laughs> the Iron oh, Shots infiltrate a temple to stop the purge, killing off everyone who crosses their path. Sadly, they discovered the purge is a symbolic purge of evil where they give gifts to children on, oh, this wacky sloth. Oh, these wacky nope. yeah, sloths. No, no, well, no. that was wrong. Yeah, That's not no. what the purge was. Um, nice, nice try. Uh, OMSX80 has donated. Thank you very much. Death Day 41 Looks like bird meat is back on the menu, boys. <laughs> nah, it'll be fine. It's all fine. Not like this. Mm -hmm. um, it was almost bird. It was almost bird. Um, Exerzix, uh, uh, new to D&D, &D. this is my first campaign, first time donating and watching you live. I have wow. to know, does Nova's face turn purple if she blushes? Stay Aww. cool. It would darken, so it would go like dark yeah, blue but purple. But like indigo, like, yeah. Yeah. Mm. royal blue. Uh, Lotta Potter says, wonderful episode as always, I was just wondering if Lucius lost an eye like Quill did, would his dichromancy be affected Ooh. at all? If so, yeah. would it matter which eye he lost? Yeah, I yeah. have a table for which eye you That's lose. Cool. Um, Ooh. That's good to know. God damn. Time to uh, Tennessee with a quarter hundo. Uh, awesome combat today. Almost thought we would have a TPK. Yeah, I mean, I'm we surprised we was. didn't. Uh, you guys are always a blast to listen uh, to on Sundays. Keep it up. Oh, and Kilek, don't let them tell you how to do your job. How dare they just assume you're wrong? <laughs> Who says clerics have to be healers? It's true. I'm an arcane cleric. I think I'm playing that correct, at least. Keep in mind, if you guys hadn't surrendered, like, you surrendered, you surrendered, you surrendered. Nova was down, she could have bled out, like Sentry did. That was that was damn close. Like, I mean, it was real close. And also, like, I even rolled to see, like, are these guys just going to take you prisoner? Oh, okay, yeah, no, they're not complete was, assholes. Down yeah, to luck. And I had no spell slots and no way of healing Sentry. Yep. Or even getting away from those two. Yeah. So, I wouldn't have been able to get to you in time yeah. either. Yeah, um, Frank the NBC. Hour left, so it can still change, but holy shit, was my episode prediction wrong. Come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, Frank the NPC again. Uh, all the feels for Rhiannon. Uh, I feel really bad about my first joke comment now. <laughs> Kim? Yeah. Uh, Tennessee has donated. Well, looks like I was a bit premature with my first message. Sorry, Ree. No. Um, oh. Azul Aura has donated. Hugs, Ree. Big hugs. Uh, Woody has donated. I think I cried more when we lost Sentry than my own player when my then when my own player character died. Aww. I will be eating off a warm plate tonight. <laughs> yeah. On, on warm behalf plates. of everyone in chat who can donate. Hugs from us, Rhiannon. Aww. We love. You. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, and Holy whoa. Jimmy whoa. Kiba X has don donated five hundred dollars with a message so for a stiff drink. Yes. Jimmy Kiba has donated quite a lot in the past. 
Thank, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, do you want to take over? I'm going to need that stiff drink. Yeah. Ace of, Ace of Thorns, Denaid, words fail me. Rhiannon, we feel for you. There is still life, and with that, hope. Mm -hmm. Like Thank a you. piece of star. Why yeah. is it the new player? Like, it's, I feel like the worst, <laughs> like, out of everybody. I'm like, oh, Kim's died before, like, she's used to it. And then Rhiannon, I'm like, I mean, have ah, you died now? Like, three, hard. four. Yeah. I protect So Cam much. never died. Yeah. 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 There's always anyway. side quests. Anyway. Bandai Nemzai, number one century. Brave warrior, guardian solvent, you are a valiant protector, an individual who stood for justice and all the good in the world. Since she was an amazing party member, the overprotective mum, who had all the characters' best interests at heart. There's still hope. Still yeah. hope. There is yeah. a number two, though. I really hope her death will not be the end of her. We need our robo mum back. Time to call the 1 800 resurrecting hotline. Aww. Hugs and love to you, especially Rhiannon. Mm -hmm. hey, Thank you, Bandai. Thank you. Can I read summary? Yeah, uh, Frankie NPC has donated, and here we go from sad back to fantastic. Lol, I love this game. Also, I think I typed the wrong name for Rhiannon last time. I Sorry. Read it, I read it, I read it. Uh, Valor's Law drop and fleeing Starbane. That was intense. Mm. I didn't uh, expect that. No, no. that was insane. <laughs> that was awesome. My yeah. daughter. Oh, I knew that Nina yeah. has known about this for fucking ages, and she's, she's just like. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't I think it would something escalate. about Valor, but I didn't yeah. correlate. Awesome. Yeah. And I didn't expect this to be revealed so early on. This right. was yeah. meant to be like, you know, Nova's, like Valor was supposed to like slowly reveal her powers and like, even this, she nearly died on her little solo oh, mission. Shit. Oh man. And from that, she begins to realize that there's this deeper well of power that she doesn't understand. Yeah. And I leveled her up and I've given her like extra abilities and things. Oh, nice. So she would have slowly started to kind of be like, I think there's a reason that the church, I don't think I was being protected by the church. I and think the hidden. church were protecting everyone else from me. She That's was kind right. of that vibe. Holy crap. crap. I love Did that. she pop out of invisibility at a really awkward moment? She no, and that was the thing is it. it she popped out of invisibility pretty much just as she managed to get away and hide in the cloister. So she was literally like hiding in the bushes, and the invisibility dropped as I rolled. I, I had like a seventeen stealth, and she's just like. Amazing. So you've got all the exact actions that she did, and went. as vaguely as I can do. Yeah. So like when I'll, I'll talk about behind the screen where it's like this stuff is kind of going to change ever so slightly because of the timings, but yeah. Mm. Love that. That's awesome. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, Meta has donated a quarter hundo. Whoop whoop. Uh, what the fuck was that episode? We lost Night Frost, Sentry, I'm so mad. A gate to hell opened. The king of the demons appeared. The party oh, bargained. Vala saved the day. And her father shows up as I'm typing the fucker, fucker, fuck. Caridus fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't the king of demons. We're only just, just at one Star of many, appearance now. <laughs> so, so good. There's a lot more capital letters. <laughs> Woody, but more stressed to donate. <laughs> he says, Mark, you are incredible. Daddy Starbane, what? I don't have enough questions. I love the idea that everyone starts putting their names and then stressed but, yeah. and then their but emotions stressed. from the yeah. episode. I think That's for me, crazy. it was the bit when you were just like, yeah, he's in the room. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> he's in the room. He walks through the portal. Uh, he's not just there. He's came through the Stargate. You don't have the iris. Yeah. So. Close the iris. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Bandai Nenzai donated. Uh, thank you very much. We're not in Savona anymore. Jesus, what the hecking heck on toast was that? <laughs> First we had planet destroying Satan ready to take some souls. Then we meet the final boss Starboy, who's Valor's daddy. This has been an amazing episode with highs and lows. But just keep in mind that Starbane is now on Erois. He was being kept out by the cradle, and he's now here. I mean, uh, we really couldn't have uh, done that. No, absolutely. It's nothing you guys could have done. It's just circumstance. And technically, it's Valor who's summoned him. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, his uh, <laughs> Stonehenig Ray, uh, Mark, you humble DM. How can you not consider yourself one of the uh, one of the best DMs out there after Aww. a session like this? What a session, what a campaign this is turning out to be. That's very mm. kind. It was, um, it was pretty awesome. many DMs. It's incredible. incredible. Uh, the game guy donated. What the fuck? <laughs> a failure followed by demons followed by fucking Starbane. <laughs> God damn, this is a roller coaster of a session. I can't believe it actually ended well-ish, except Night Frost. Yeah, <laughs> um, and that one. Yeah, and this. And this well, well, I think we, these people are still help. like, like it's if, if you start. don't resurrect Sentry, then it's like sad. Yeah. You got like, seven, days. seven days. Seven days. Uh, uh, Evil Doctor Ganymede, very generous donation. Wow, what an emotional roller coaster ride this was. All the ups and downs and twists and turns were amazing. Well done, everyone. Now the party has an immediate quest to bring Sentry back too. Can't wait for next time. I guess Rip Savona though. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw oh, all no. of those notes in the bin. Uh, <laughs> we'll go, Katie. Back. Oh, uh, will you? Ooh. Oh, fucking God. Absolutely. Aura, Steve. Oh yeah. Spell Flash. 
Um, <laughs> how are we going to get moats now? <laughs> no moats for you. Oh, so um, <laughs> Ansel or Ansel says, after this app, I doubt anyone cares, but we had no cad, we had no daddies this week. And of the 95 bets, eight were correct. Goes to cry in a corner. Sending all the hugs, especially for Ree and Trot. 95. I'm fine. So, so it's just uh, click. socialism, socialism for, the win. for the win. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. What a twist. Although the weird adventures of Demon Girl and the gang could have been super fun. Yeah, man, I had some fun shit planned for that. Yeah. Oh, boy. Road um, trip! Nightjar has been saying, saying, holy shit, guys, seriously, I don't have any words. I also have too many words. I can't get my thoughts out, but this has been so brilliant, and I just can't even. Also, can everyone please give Rhiannon the biggest hug? Yeah. Love you guys. We Heart. will. We will. She's getting smooshed after this. Um, yeah. Do you want to keep going, Tom? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Marvel Lewis, 1767. First time donating, finally caught up two days ago and watching live. <laughs> uh, oh boy, boy, what an episode. Welcome, <laughs> <laughs> welcome. Um, looking forward to watch Mark's behind the screen. Yeah. Stay strong, high rollers. Yes, yeah. on Friday, yeah. you'll watch it. And uh, finally, Nightjar again. Reminder to everyone watching, please don't post spoilers on Twitter, yeah. Reddit, etc. Please don't. Or at least put spoiler warnings. Don't ruin this for the VOD and podcast squ squads. Thank you, Nightjar. Oh, thank you very yeah. much, Nightjar. Let's please, please, please don't. Please don't spoil any of this. Thank you, promise, all of yet. you guys. Uh, and finally, Identiken, this has just come in. Um, can only describe this episode as a lawnado. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Hesper. Lawnado. Thank well, you very much, well everyone. Yeah. Uh, so just before we go, so yeah, the uh, escorting his Cambian daughter around, she would basically would have been like, "I'm going to do a terrible thing, and you have to protect me." <laughs> it would have been like fucking lol. <laughs> like imagine having like Barry and Smith in like a female body that's just going around causing trouble. Uh, <laughs> that's really oh, Okay. Um, okay. But yeah, what an episode. Holy. Um, well, before we go, do you remember that display have a sale on yes. that only yes. goes until Tuesday at midnight? Ugh. So um, if you want to get 25% off, use High Rollers 25 at checkout and you can get all these awesome All those displays. awesome you displays. Goodness. Yeah, you can. Yep. Um, don't forget, <laughs> we're going to be at Twitch, uh, Twitch Europe as well. Yeah. Check us out. We'll be back next week. <laughs> where this all goes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we'll be back. Here we See go. you next time. Goodbye. Bye. 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 See you later. <laughs> I need to go and get a drink now. Uh... <laughs>